Howdy. Well, howdy. Howdy. Come on, give me your amen. girthiest howdy. <laughs> I mean, I, I guess amen works too. <laughs> That's in character. Amen, brothers. <laughs> Yeehaw! Don't worry, they're coming in. They're coming in. All right, they just have to. They have to get into focus. Just let them get into focus. Uh, I know it uh, looks. I know it looks manifest. scuffy right now. Don't worry. It's, the power of it's just. It's just how OBS works. Listen, this isn't how the stream's gonna be. Just let pixel them. Pixel by pixel, I go on. About those pixels. <laughs> just let them get into focus. I manifest. There they go. Here, here Each they are. Pixel. All right. Come there. to me. This is like the Doctor Manhattan. <laughs> We're, we're being like blended Manhattan. until the pixels are butter it's smooth. The, it's the first. Manhattan. It's the first trick he learned was to put himself. <laughs> He's like a skeletal ghost that's like freaking out scientists. Yeah, yeah. Incredible. <laughs> well, at, at least you did manifest. Now. You guys are here. <laughs> Thank God. Here, we're gonna move a little bit over here. Everybody's got their characters out in front of them. Incredible. Mm -hmm. Drawn by the great. Saint Clappington, I mean <laughs> Magni Desmond. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, thank you. Drew a little, drew, drew some little things. Yeah. Drew on art. Yeah, some art. art. <laughs> drew some art. I need to make Chris a bit smaller. Chris is almost a child after all, so. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Nice hats. Yeah, the hats are looking good. We couldn't do it without the hats, so. <laughs> I had him that clip is them super on. Fancy. Yeah, they do look good. Let's do a quick little volume test as we introduce ourselves. First of all, hi everybody. I'm Calliope Mori, uh, the the keeper of the West, and also today's GM, DM, narrator, if you will. Who else do we have here? Who's this gentleman over here? The vampire-looking one that isn't a vampire. <laughs> Hello, everybody. It is I, Vesper Nora, the resident scholar of the Adventures of the Compass and a member of All Stars English. And I will. Be, do we do we introduce our characters? Yeah, or? Yeah. 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 Go ahead. Who are you playing today? Okay. And I will be controlling Cookie Caliban. Put her there, partner. Yeah, put her there. Yeah. Slap you. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a cook, and I'm in possession of a family heirloom. I don't show it off lightly though, because it tends to draw the, draw the stairs. If you know what I'm talking oh, about. Oh no. So. Oh lord. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I don't want nice to see that you. heirloom. <laughs> I don't think any of us want to exactly. see that. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. All right, let him cook Cookie Caliban. Who is next? We, next we've got, Hello, who is this? Everyone. Alchemist. The name's Magni Desmond, a.k.a. the great Magni Desmond, and tonight I'll be playing Saint Clappington, <laughs> the patron saint of Super Chats. What the and f- <laughs> Saint Clappington, Clappington is, a, is a holy man. Can I get an amen, chat? Amen. Come on, chat. Give him the amens. Amen, brother. Or whatever is most ancillary to an amen in your culture <laughs> or region. <laughs> oh, I'm the black-eyed, cold-blooded killer, St. Clap... Uh, holy man. <laughs> oh, holy black man. Black-eyed, cold-blooded killer. And uh, I have a cigarette case in my front pocket. Also, my internet's kind of shit today, so... Fingers crossed. I, uh, it's been It's been going in and out on me. So we'll see. That's all right. I mean, it seems like it's... Never mind. I'm not going to say anything. Um, what does that cigarette <laughs> case do, by the way, if you don't mind telling the folks at home? Oh, by the power of God, I'm protected from a single bullet, single attempt on my life. Mm. Amen. That's good to know. Amen, amen. And, oh, and my amen. gun. Uh, sorry, I don't think I don't think Vesper went this into the detail, but my gun basically has the properties of Thor's hammer. That's why it's floating, if you see right there, my little figurine. Ooh. <laughs> It's cool. So we can, I can like throw it and it comes back in my hand. Also, it's it's my Gucci gun because it's it's decked out with pearls and, and stuff. I mean, you can throw it. It'll be back in your hand in about one minute, but you know, it can't exactly <laughs> work like a boomerang. But <laughs> close enough, close enough. I love the, the creativity. Gucci gun, Gucci gun Clappington. I dig it. The most pious member of our little posse here. Or so he says. Kind of too fancy for a priest, though, don't you think? Yeah, a little bit, it, a little bit baroque, I think. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. It, it's you know, if I'm a representative of God, I have to look the part. 
Uh, true enough. It's, it's only for me. the profession. Yeah, it has mm-hmm. nothing to do. With, it's not and about you me. have to you have to endure like people people mm-hmm. calling you out on it and be humble, right? Mm-hmm. I understand. I understand. Now, let me ask you a question, sir. Did you get that gun from the uh, the good paying people of the church? Is that uh, how you saved up money for that gun? It is our sneak gun. A, sneaking a little extra out of the collection oh, box. I see. Servants of the Lord, the Mag Lord. All right, well, I do declare. And each each sinner s- struck down is 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 a group effort, really. I'm just one of my Mag Lord's many hands. All right. Whatever you say. All right. Crony, your feathers okay. getting all up in my face. <laughs> Speaking of crony, introduce yourself. Sounds like a you problem. Uh, I don't know. Our posse kind of seems concerning. Um, but yeah, I'll be controlling Chris Scarface Reynolds. And I, I, I don't judge with the name because... This kid has a golden arm and can shoot anyone. Anyone! However, um... If, if she... Or... I don't... I don't exactly know. Is this... Is Ash Ketchum? I don't know. But this like... Is Ash <laughs> but like, if they kill someone... It's ambiguous. They're gonna get traumatized for life. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know... But I- very powerful. <laughs> You know, I kind or of think um... you killed someone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, lordy. I actually realized something uh, that may may not make you very happy, Chris Scarface Reynolds. So, uh, upon further reading, further reading into the rules, um, the truth of the matter is, um, the only way to kill a man for sure is to put a bullet in him, and if you put a bullet in someone, they are dead. Dang. Yeah, they will like, die. No matter where. No matter where. Doesn't Whoa. matter where it is, you're dead. This is the West. Darn. So, so get ready for that. You gotta clap them all. So t- time for trauma. No matter what. Yeah, but I mean, you will. I mean, you will really. You can kill whoever you want, which is kind of cool. So, now, Sir Clappington is not exactly like better per se because Sir Clappington, Clappington it's can only Clappington. I Sorry. said the Lord. Okay. Well, I didn't, I right, didn't devote a, my life to the Lord to be called a sir. All right, you, all right well, you saint. All right, I'm holy. You did that for yourself, though. The so only living saint. Not everyone's gonna call you Saint Clappington, so get ready for that. There are gonna be some people that say sir. <laughs> uh, but, do not insult the Lord. It's not like he's the Lord. Jeez. Um, but um, what, what was I even talking about? We were talking about bullets and a okay, holy so, hex. I- Casted. With Saint Clappington, Saint Clappington can only do the same thing as you for somebody that trusts Saint Clappington, or they're running away, or they surrender. That's it. Otherwise, uh, Saint Clappington has to roll. So, hmm. that's where we're at. Yeah. Basically, that's the big deal. I wanted to quickly review the characters really quick, just so everybody kind of knows who we have here. Now, get ready, because the team, the squad, the posse has to load in again. Oh, just kidding. They're, they're here. They don't have to load in into the Matrix. We've got Chris Scarface get, Reynolds. Get feathered. get feathered. We got starting Stage off with... Stage coach robbery. <laughs> hey. I forgot about that. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. That can only kill specifically <laughs> rattlesnakes and no other type of snake. Oh, it's too good. Uh, how <laughs> poetic. Good how poetic. We've got so here... <laughs> Chris, Scarface Reynolds, kid with the golden arm, can shoot anyone. All you have to do is give up your lucky card. Now, I I have pulled a card for everyone. You guys have one card face down on the table that I have pulled for you. Um, You don't know what it is, but if you feel unlucky with your dice, you may use a card. You can play cards to make an action happen. Now, for you, Chris, Scarface Reynolds, if you so please, you may sacrifice that card to put a bullet in anybody. However, they will die, and you will be traumatized. So get ready for that. Yeah. So they they can only do that with the card? That no, you can do anything with it. Yeah, the skill can only be done if you sacrifice a card. So a question. If mm-hmm. I get traumatized... Am hmm. I just out of commission for the rest of the game? No, 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 no. I'll give you a penalty. It's a condition. Uh, so you may uh, take a minus 1d6 to some of your actions, all right? 
so oh, don't get traumatized. Okay. Uh, this here character, Chris Scarface Reynolds, is wielding uh, the sledgehammer, a derringer that is sparkling and and Gucci, but not quite as Gucci as St. Clappington's. Um, with a gaudy black hat, um, Chris is wanted for stagecoach robbery and owes a debt that Chris cannot pay. Um, also known to be a cheat at cards. So, look out. Look out for this yellow belly who fled. Played cards and fled. What do we have here? Does Chris get traumatized even if they kill someone without the skill? Is it just any kill or is it only apply with the only golden arm? Only applies with the golden arm deal. Okay. Oh. Yep, that's the deal. All right, so you could just roll to try and hit without, but if you really want to kill someone, you're going to want to use your skill. We only got one though. Yeah. Right. Well, okay. unless the... you guys take a break and then you draw a new card. Oh, that's right. That's right. Oh. Yeah. There are break moments where you get one grit back. A cookie can cook for you guys, which is kind of cool. Um, and you, uh, you get, you get to draw another card. Um, now, next up, we've got St. Clappington, played by Great Magni Desmond. The big deal, known as Black Eyes, a cold-blooded killer, can shoot anyone who runs, surrenders, and trusts you with no role necessary. And also, you can't take conditions like traumatized or psychologically damaged or anything like that. That's right. My faith keeps me strong. <laughs> so you say. So you say. However, um... St. Clappington does owe a little bit of cash to the money man um, and wields a revolver of solid iron. Mother of Pearl. That's a, that's a Gucci gun. However, he does have a tiny hat and um, talking about his tiny hat is uh, its not the best. <laughs> Look at the chats full of amens. They love St. Clappington. See, this is, this is some tomfoolery because Vesper <laughs> also has a tiny hat. Hey, hey. Cookie hey, Calvin is... also has a tiny hat. He does. This hat has been passed out in my ge my my house, my family for ten generations. This is actually slightly big for this style of hat. All right. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. So they say. Next up, we've this, got. This <laughs> the... Freaking feathers drive me crazy, dude. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm what saying. A freaking die. Like, what... Yeah, <laughs> it's fucking you hilarious. <laughs> Uh, God, I wish it looked like this in the main screen. Anyway, getting Mike, um, getting Mike Wazowski. <laughs> it's like censor in your face. That's uh, right under his nose. He's gonna sneeze. Do you like move over like a foot or so? No. Nah, I'm no. gonna keep her no. right there. She's perfect uh. where she is. All right, so we've got Cookie Caliban here. Salt of the earth can cook anything, um, which is, I mean, that's really just kind of, I mean, he, he can mostly <laughs> just cook his main dish, which is pumpkin, pumpkin something. Um, and can make anyone sharing a meal with you answer one question truthfully, and it has to be truthful. 100%. 100%. Now, uh, Cookie is also carrying the legacy revolver that is engraved with the name Pagliacci. Pagliacci. Yeah, every time that Cookie flashes this gun, everybody has to stop and stare for a little bit. Um, however, something to remember here is that Cookie shot a bounty hunter at one point and owes the bounty hunter a foot. He's been on the run. Been on the run since then. That's right. Um, they got off on the wrong footing. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, man, that was too good. That's our cast nice. for today. That is yeah, our I'm cast. On I'm on the lookout for like a foot. <laughs> anyone's Not, foot will do. Yeah, anyone's foot will do. Are, you sick? I, I'm sorry, I'm saying it's just because I don't want to die. That's oh. the only reason. That is, okay. Hey, it's a good reason enough. Yeah, it's the only reason. Wait, you got you got two c Cookie Calibans, see? Oh, oh, oh. no! Oh, no, it's because oh, I changed... <laughs> Oopsies, yeah. I accidentally changed Chris's. There you go. There you are. All fixed. There, that's the proper figure. Oh. <laughs> now then, everybody, shall we talk about rolling dice, aka throwing down, aka rolling dice? Let's get into the thick of that because that's yeah. that's important. Mm -hmm. All right, let me see what we got here for rolls. All right, it should appear again. Now, so for rolling, rolling is the is the bread and butter of this campaign. Um, hold on a sec. Let me before anyone sees should what I the talk? link is. Or should I hide? 
Yeah, yeah, now you're good. I'll just move you closer to Vesper's <laughs> nose. Hold on a sec. No, 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 no. I'll just move no you need. a bit closer to Vesper's nose. No need, narrator. We're, we're fine. Are you sure? Yeah, we're good. Yeah, your hat did end up being bigger than I thought it would be, Crony, but that's okay. <laughs> as long as people can basically read the rolls, we're good. So, throwing down. Throwing down in this game is extremely important. All that you have to remember is pretty simple. We're rolling with one D6. It's a six-sided die, okay? Now, if you roll a one through three, it's a failure. If you roll a four to six, it's a success. So you have a 50-50 chance with each die. To succeed at your action, okay? So, the important thing also here to remember is that your qualities will add up to a dice pool. For example, let's take a look here at the, what do we got here? We got Cookie's sheet over here. Let's say that Cookie wants to make a roll uh, of squint. We're doing a squint yes. roll, okay? Mm -hmm. Go ahead and you will roll two dice. Two, two six, D6? Yes, two D6, all right? Understood. Let's see what we get. All right, you got a six, which means success because we take the highest one. Uh... Out of all of the dice that you roll, only the highest one that you roll matters. Now, however, let's pretend that, you know, Cookie is uh, trying to hustle someone. Someone out, out in the desert, he's trying to, he's trying to really pull a fast one on somebody. Well, you know, Cookie is a really honorable man, and he just doesn't have the hustle. So, wait, hu that's not, that's not quite what hustle means. <laughs> hustle is, I think hustle is how you run. Let's say guile, guile instead. All right, so you, you don't really have the guile to do it. So, instead, you will roll 2d10, However, this time you will take the lowest. So go ahead and roll 2d, uh, sorry, not 2d10, 2d6. Roll 2d6 for me, again. You have zero in there, but you still have to roll two dice. Myself? Yes, 2d6. And we take the lowest, mm-hmm. All right, so you got a four, so you still succeeded. You still succeeded in uh, snatching something from whoever it was you were trying to rustle and hustle out in the West. So congratulations. However, point being, we take the lowest one because you have no, no, no dots in hustle, mm. essentially, mm. right? Now let's go ahead and pretend that we're doing um, a gun roll. Let's say you want to shoot a feller out in the West for whatever reason somebody, somebody did something wrong by you. All right. Uh, Chris, you for example, I'm sure you'll kill someone this time around. Um, uh, let's say so. this guy's running real fast and you want to make the draw on him. Well, let's take a look at your gun over here, the sledgehammer, sparkling gun. Uh, since they're running real quick, we're gonna go with speed. So go ahead and do the same roll of 2d6. Okie dokie. Yeah. All right, unfortunately, it looks like you failed to shoot him. But hey, good news is you're not traumatized, right? <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that great? Yay. Yay. Good for yeah. you. So rolling is real simple in here. Um, and I will let you know every time that an, if an action is very risky, all right? Because uh, risky is risky's real bad. If you're doing a risky action, that means I use a coin. Yep, I flip a coin. Um, and you roll. Yep, if, a, if an action is risky, there's an added level of you need to be extra lucky to make it work, all right? Remember, violence is always a risky action. So, the way that it works with the coin flip is, if a player succeeds and I succeed, then you do the thing very good that you wanted to do. If you, the player, fail, but I succeed, you do a bad job, but you get a bonus. If you succeed, but I fail, you do the thing, but you do it badly. And if both of us fail, shit goes so south. So south, mega failure. So, okay. if you're gonna take a risky action, get ready, because narrator's gotta flip a coin. Alrighty, now also of note is hard actions. Something that is exceptionally difficult or outside the human limit. To accomplish it, the final result must be a six. If you get a one through five, it's a failure. Some actions can be both risky and hard, and you can only set oh, one no. goal for an action. That's right. Okay. Yep, that's right. Just so you know. And um, also, you can help each other out. So if another player wishes to aid in an action, you can pool the qualities um, for a single roll. So for example, uh, maybe, maybe uh, let's say, St. Clappington and Chris, they want to make a roll together to both squint. They can add together their dice pool, but keep in mind that, um, keep in mind that if something bad happens, both of you have to deal with the consequences. 
Oh. Yep. Okay. Just the visual of us like, let me help you there. <laughs> like I see the <laughs> Ooh, lordy. Ooh, lordy. And the okay. last thing I'm going to talk about is grit. Real quick, because grit is important. All right. Grit is uh, basically you and all your fellow characters from your posse are tough and have six gunslingers grit. There may be times when you don't want to take a bullet or a condition. Now, if you want to avoid a consequence, you spend grit equal to the total number of dice rolled of the thing that's giving you that bullet or condition. So, for example, um, an outlaw is trying to shoot you, aiming their gun straight at you. Um, and they, they have a dice pool. They have two. So, if you want to avoid that, you're going to have to take two grit. So, you'll go ahead and mark those off on your sheet. And that's regardless of whether they succeed or fail. It's just the total amount that they're rolling. Yeah, you won't know if they'll succeed yeah. or fail. Yeah. Yep. Ooh, you have okay. to make a choice. Yeah, you can't call and, dodge after they've shot their shot. Oh, uh, okay. Right. So, you need to say, oh man, this guy's going to shoot me. I use my grit to get away. Yep. It's or, your anime powers, your exactly. protagonist powers. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Or you can let him do it and see if you live or die. You never Fine. know. Okay. Fine. Yep. Um, once you get, once you have zero grit, you can't use it anymore. Which doesn't mean you're dead, but someone can easily put a bullet in you because they'll roll, and if they succeed, you're done for. So just don't okay. die. <laughs> just don't die. Just don't die. It's just that easy. Mm hmm. Yep, that's right. Now, some other characters also have grit as well. Other outlaws, for example, or other people oh. in this world. Uh, typically around, um, you know, some, something or someone small has one grit. Uh, normal people usually have two. Something powerful is three to four. Very powerful is five. So get ready, get ready for that. Grit's really important. All right. So with that being said, I think that we've got Everything's set up to get going. Are you guys ready to jump into the West? I think I'm ready, yeah. Can I ask oh, one question? How do we recover grit? By taking a breather, which is uh -huh. resting. Um, and you can cook as well to get everybody yeah, some grit back. Two. So mm -hmm. two per rest. Exactly. Okay. Now that we have a cook on our side. However... Keep in mind that when you do rest, time passes. Now, I've got, on my end, these things called clocks that you don't get to see. There's some clocks that I'm keeping that are basically the approximate timing of things. So, for example, maybe someone's coming to collect a debt from you. Uh-huh. Right? And as yeah. time passes, as the clock ticks, get closer and closer and closer to that moment happening. I've got my clocks on my side. You can't see them, okay, though. Okay, I see. Yep. That's cool. Yep. Okay. So do be careful. All right. Any other questions from the team? I'm, I'm ready. I think I'm ready. We're ready to roll? I think I'm ready. Mm -hmm. All righty. Then let me go ahead and set the stage for you. I'm going to play some BGM little light BGM. Setting the stage, we move away from this here gun shop behind me. And instead, we head out to the desert in the evening. Not the evening, it's the morning. <clears throat> the West is dying. It's really dying. Or at least it sure as hell feels like it's dying. Not much left remains of those wild days of chaos and cowboys chasing bandits through the desert plains. At least, not in the way y'all remember from the movies, y'all in chat. The oil rigs are going up. The gold rush has come to an end. And while oil is king, a brand new economy has taken a firm grasp over the West. Y'all, however, don't give much a damn about that. Y'all are still cowboys. Our story begins with three outlaws who have taken some kind of strange shine to each other. Why don't we go and meet them, chat? In fact, in fact, these outlaws are all congregating in the same area. Congregating together at an old church. Old church. An old church that is uh, seemingly 
owned by St. Clappington, but we all know that's not the truth. You see, St. Clappington actually uh, made his home here while the original reverend, Reverend Louis Devlin, is out on vacation. But he hasn't been here for a couple of months, so... Well, St. Clappington decided to just go ahead and move right in and, you know, continue the preaching because, well, you know, this is this is a place of God and sermons must continue, right? Of course. Amen. Problem being, uh, Reverend Louis Devlin does not know who St. Clappington is. They have never met. He's just kind of, he just kind of moved in and brought his posse with him. That's right. Now... Cookie Caliban, how did you meet this fella? <laughs> Vesper? You there? Oh, I'm muted. I'm sorry. I see Vesper's <laughs> mouth move and I just hear things moving in the background. Well, purely by accident, mind you. Oh. I am wanted by an unscrupulous fellow. For uh, a mistake, an honest mistake, and he is a he's a grim-eyed feller that I don't very much feel like meeting on my lonesome. <laughs> so I look for a I look for a partner. No. Oh. To to work with, Ooh. and I would provide a brand new form of sustenance known as a pumpkin spice latte. <laughs> I feel like it's gonna take off. Maybe it's a little bit before our time, but end of its time. You know, in a hundred years or so, perhaps, might be the talk of the town. Mm -hmm. But uh, the saint here, Saint Clappington, is a mm. dead-eyed feller you do not want to mess with. Preach. And, uh, I am willing to adhere to his 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 <laughs> religious practices. <laughs> And I will, I will join his flock in return for protection. Although he does scare me something fierce. Yes, I, I will not lie to you. It's true. It's as Mr. Caliban here says. In an exchange for not much. I am a holy man. I do not ask much of my followers, my children here. We have congregated in Lord Devlin's absence. Some people <laughs> say, where is Mr. Devlin and I say, would you really be trusting your your religious duties to a man with devil in his name? I think not. <laughs> Young Mr. Caliban here came to me and said, I don't even know what he said. That's that's how pious I am, how devoted I am to helping others in return for this pumpkin spice latte, as well as his soul. Uh, I do my best to protect Young Mr. Caliban here. I do my duty. Amen! Amen, hey, hey, amen Saint! <laughs> As you guys are conversing over here in the corner, we uh we see that uh young Chris Scarface Reynolds is um what are you doing usually ch chilling out in the church? What are you hanging out and about doing? What's your day like, Chris? Well, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I need some water. Um, so, most of my time, I, I just, I just like to observe, uh, those two fellers. Mm -hmm. And, uh, the, the, they, they are up to no good, I feel like. And, I, I was just a poor lost soul wandering, mm. and... Then I saw I saw Saint Clappington and his shiny gun, and I assumed that he had enough money to take in a <laughs> poor lost soul. And uh. this pumpkin spice latte sounded really good, <laughs> and I, I feel like it might take off. And when it does, I want to take some credit for being his assistant, mayhaps. Oh, I see. That's as good enough a reason as any, really. 
Yeah, you're not the only young in here, actually, uh, Chris, Chris Scarface Reynolds. There is also an altar boy, an altar boy by the name of Ned Emerson, who occasionally talks to you here and there. Young Ned Emerson, who is, uh, real dedicated to the cause and also a, a little suspicious of, of St. Clappington. He won't leave, though, uh, nor will he call the police on St. Clappington because, well, St. Clappington's real scary. Um... You see the, the young altar boy kind of ru runs up into the middle of the three of you who are just lay lazing about in the in the, in the church. The Ned kind of, you know, pokes his head in and says, hey, he he "Hello, uh you three, I'm I'm real I'm nervous something fierce. I I just get the feeling that the reverend's going to be back soon and I look, I've well truth be told, I've grown a bit fond of you three. It's just you want to clean up the place, make it a bit nicer? The place is a bit trashed. Just a little bit. The house of the Lord, uh, the, with the three of you living there, you've not been taking very good care of it. Suffice to say. Doesn't look very good. Yeah. Well, my... Well, Tad, uh, I tell you what. That's not my name. <laughs> <laughs> right. What? It's Ned. Ned Emerson. Uh, right. Fred, come here, my oh, boy. All right. Under God's protection, no harm will come to us or you, whoever may be trashing this place. Because when when you're under the gaze of the Mag Lord, you don't need to be tidy. The only thing that needs to be tidy, young Fred, is your soul. So I think we'll be okay. All right. Well. Also, I'll shoot him. <laughs> I'll go. I'll go clean up the kitchen. That's on me. That's on me. Okay. Fine. Fine. We'll tidy up a little bit, and. Uh, why don't you just hang out with this other boy here who's been just kind of like sitting in the corner staring at us. And he's also got a big giant golden metal arm, so I don't know what, maybe you can find out what, what his deal is. Uh, uh, um, I, I have a bad stomach, so I think I gotta sit down. I, I don't think I can help you with this this mess. I, I never made the mess to begin with. I'm just a little kid. Oh, we gotta do, a, we, we each gotta do our part though. That boy ain't right, I tell you what. As I, as I walk off to the kitchen to clean. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna kill him these days, I mutter. <laughs> <sighs> At least the kitchen will be clean, but look, um, Saint. Uh, Saint Clappington, the, today's sermon, what are we gonna do for the homily? Do, do you know what we're. What kind of story you want to tell, or because last time you kind of just made made it up on the spot, and I think it made people uncomfortable. <laughs> ah, Ted, I have a great preamble for everyone, or uh, or uh, what, what's the word? I'm gonna call them preambles right now. I, you, I I'll tell you it's, what. All right. This this story, this 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 epic religious. Him that I'm about to tell is going to be so holy that he will burn the trash off the ground, I say. Now. Oh. Maybe you should try it now. <laughs> just hold on, Chris. This, this, <laughs> this boy's enthusiasm for for devotion is is he's eager. So here's here's today's sermon for everyone here gathered. And many, just like many, that, many people begin to file oh. into the church. Oh, thank God. Welcome, everyone. <laughs> come, come. <laughs> Phil. <laughs> file into the church, and everyone is usually a little confused, a little put off um, by the fact that, you know, Reverend Louis Devlin isn't here. But they, they accept you because, you know, they're God-fearing folk. Um, and so they, they let you do your sermon. Everybody kind of sits down. There's about, you know, ten people that continue coming over. So give your sermon. Welcome. Uh, many of you probably are wondering where uh, Sir Sir Devlin is. Well, he's he's away on the, um, he's 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 run away. Oh, oh no, <gasps> he's run away. He couldn't take it anymore. Oh he, dear he me! He went somewhere. Um, but I don't no need to fear. I'm here, Saint Clappington. I'm here to fulfill your religious needs. I'm I'm here to give a sermon about. Uh, um, many years ago, there was, uh, on, on, uh, on, on a Tuesday, mind you, there was a great tree out in the desert, and at the bottom of this tree, there are many animals and greenery, so green, it, 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 you would, you would think it's a trick of the eye, an oasis 
flowing with water and creatures. And then they, they once said there was a man who, who was so thirsty he could drink the entire ocean. And he'd been wandering the desert for many, many days. And he came across this little tree on, 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 on a Tuesday, mind you. If you believe it or not. And he knelt down at this, at this water that was accumulating on the tree. And he drank it. He drank it all. And he drank it all up. And there was no water for anyone anymore at all. And the, the tree withered and died. And the animals withered and died. And he soon withered and died. Because he was a selfish man. He was a selfish man. He drank all the water. He should have just drank a teeny tiny bit of water. And the whole oasis would have lived. But no, no, nay, he said, this water is mine. He drinks the water. He drinks it all. And so the lesson I think we all need to impart from this is that we need to not be so selfish and give. So if you take notice, this young boy here, his name is Chris, will walk down the aisle. You could give whatever you can, you can muster. The church will take whatever we can. Thank you. Amen. From, from the kitchen. Amen, preacher. <laughs> Amen. Uh, St. Clappington, before I start collecting, I have a question. Yes. My How? Child. How did he drink the entire ocean? It's pretty salty. I'm pretty sure he's gonna die if he drinks all of that. He was so thirsty. <laughs> How was that? He was very if you're paying attention, thirsty, Chris. Oh. If you're paying oh. attention, Chris. He did die. I mean, <laughs> he did die. He didn't die from drinking the ocean. How is that possible? It was unspecified why he died, but we do know for a fact that uh, this greedy man did die. I, I see. I, I see. Okay. I, I guess it makes sense. Amen. Okay. Amen, Chris. Um, go, go get the cash. Pa pardon me, uh, preacher. Uh, somebody in the in the pews kind of raises a hand. Yes, you. Uh, um, I don't remember any of this in the Bible. Is this scripture or? Uh, see, normally Re Reverend Louis Devlin picks a scripture from the Bible and gives a story related to that. This seems a little. Uh, I ain't heard a story like this, and I read the Bible cover to cover. <laughs> well, well, what? What's your name, sir? Uh, me? <laughs> yes. Uh, what's your name? Well, uh, I'm oh, no. I'm Timothy Backwater. <laughs> Timothy Backwater. Very good question, Timothy. Thank you. Everyone, can we hear it for Timmy? Uh, yes. The, everyone yes, awkwardly yeah, claps. Yeah. 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 Everyone claps yeah. really yeah. awkwardly. Yeah. Yeah. Timothy. Yeah. Timothy, good luck. Well, luck. Timothy Backwater. Ah, related to Jeffrey Backwater. Maybe. Oh, yeah, he's my cousin. Oh, the Backwaters. Yeah. Uh, good to have one of you here. Well, Timothy, you know, uh, Mr. Sir, Sir Devlin, I've told you many a scripture from your book. Well, I think it would be a waste of everyone's time here if I were to retell the same stories over and over. They've you've heard time and time again. I think it's time for you to learn something new. And they released a sequel, <laughs> but it was only available for a limited time. So you may not have come across Bible 2. They did? Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> <laughs> they but released was... a second Bible? Yes, yes, Timothy, they did. And I was one of the lucky few who happened to pre-order it on the midnight release of Bible 2. And I also oh. got a little figurine of the Lord as well with it. But yes, a Bible 2 was released. Oh. I, I committed it to memory and locked it away in my glass case can we protected. can we see that bible no 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 it's like it's 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 very old it's very old mind you it was uh it was a it was a release but it was released a thousand years ago via time capsule form our lord sees very far ahead has anticipated such things so even though it was released after the fact it is still very old and so cannot be seen by eyes cannot be exposed to the air to the moisture in the air lest it decompose oh but you I can trust see. me to look at me yeah. look into my eyes oh 
You can trust me. All right, preacher, I trust you, says Timothy. However, there are a couple other not-so-trusting customers in the pews, so you're going to have to go ahead and roll a swindle roll. How many swindle dots do you have, uh, by chance? I have... I have... <laughs> two swindle. <laughs> All right. So go ahead and roll two, two D six to convince everyone of the Bible two. Here we go. Roll them bones. And that's a success. All right. So even though it seems, it seems as though it's a little, it's a little unbelievable, but, um, I mean, the people in, the people in the pews, they're just here to praise the Lord, and, you know, they don't really know for sure. The way that you make it sound, it's so very convincing, there really could have been a sequel to the Bible, mm -hmm. so, so they, they tend to believe you, and they, they actually, you know, break out into a bit of applause for your very thorough description. Clap, clap, clap. Thank you, thank you. I'm only doing the Lord's work. Yeah. Well, with that, um, the sermon begins to get closer and closer uh, to to an end. Um, however, um, right when right when you are about to kind of close up your sermon, um, there's a bit of a, a commotion in the back of the church. A bit of a commotion. Hey, what's breaks going out. on back there? You notice that <clears throat> in the back of the church, you hear a big voice booming out through the back. What in the Sam hell is going on in my chapel? Uh-oh. Uh oh And you see a very, well, pious-looking man, a bit similar to how you yourself look, Sir Clappington, kind of make his way up to the front of the church with um, two briefcases in hand and the sheriff behind him. And he says, I'm the reverend of this town. I'm, I'm Reverend Louis Devlin, and what the Sam hell is going on here? Who is this heretic? Heretic? Whoa, hold on. I, th I think, listen here, Mr. Devlin, was it? I think this is just a complete misunderstanding. I think we can hash this all out. Maybe, perhaps, before, you know, you, you seem like you've journeyed a long ways. You've been gone from this chapel for many days. You seem hungry, perhaps before we would like to hash this out. You would care to share a meal with my good friend, Cookie Caliban here? How does a uh, uh, pumpkin spice latte sound to you, sirs? You you gentlemen. I don't Wash want that trash. Wash the trail dust from your gullet. <laughs> I don't want that right, trash. Right. No, yeah. it's good. Right. Says the right. 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 The right. sheriff, right. however, <laughs> the sheriff, yeah. however, kind of looks you up and down, Cookie, and says, oh, I'll take one. Yes, sir. Coming right up. <laughs> right. Yeah. I, I, I want to make this one extra good. The sheriff kind of takes over here and says, I'm Sheriff Morrison, by the way. Some people call me Old Pink, but uh, you can just call me Sheriff Morrison. Um, I'm oh, a little confused as to what's going on here. The The chapel here is uh, registered under the name Louis Devlin, but I can see clear as day that Louis Devlin is here with me. Um haven't taken a vacation and we heard a little something some 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 whispers around the town that somebody else had taken up residency well, here at the chapel some squatters is that would that be all folks oh oh listen to me old pink is you mind if i call you old pink all right i'll your, allow by... it all right sir well you know mr uh, mr devlin here goes on vacation but you know who never who doesn't go on vacation the lord and uh, we, we, even though we may not know each other, us servants of the Lord, we are just that, servants of the Lord in a, a, a chapel, a, a holy house. We cannot go unattended for far too long. And, you know, Louis Devlin, I haven't taken a vacation since I was five. But you know what? Mr. Devlin there he needs a break. He needs a break. Can't fault him. But the people need to be served. Now, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy to relinquish the reins. But I think, I think my work here far exceeds that of Mr. Devlin's, and I'm just trying to serve the Lord. You understand that, don't you, Sheriff? The Sheriff kind of sits on this for a minute and doesn't seem to immediately object, because the Sheriff, too, you can tell, is a, is a God-fearing woman. Um, 
And, and she kind of understands where you're coming from. However, uh, the Reverend kind of bellows out, Well, where are you supposed to go now, and where am I supposed to go now? This is my chapel, this is my home, and we cannot share! I've been running this chapel for 50 years! Uh, pardon so me, folks, pardon me. Sure. Here's your pumpkin sky spice latte. Oh, well, don't mind if I do. Oh, thank you. Uh, what is your What is your name, young man? The name yeah, is Cookie Caliban. Cookie Caliban. Cookie um, Caliban, ma'am. All right. Pleasure to meet your queens. Oh, well, thank you. He takes a sip of pumpkin spice latte. Oh, this is pretty good, actually. Now wet your whistle. Oh, sure. Darn sure. tootin'. <laughs> Darn tootin'. Hey, I kind of like this guy. Um, Reverend, do you really need me here? The Reverend kind of angrily stomps his foot and says, Sheriff, are you really not going to do something about this? This is my chapel! And uh, the sheriff kind of says, Well, I mean, I, I'd, I'd go ahead and say this is God's chapel. You know, so so uh, you you two can figure it out yourselves. Uh, I don't see a need for the law here in this house of the Lord, so I'm going to go ahead and head on home. Uh, by the way, uh, does that child have a home? <laughs> she points to Chris. Uh... Oh. I, I, I am a follower of the Lord, or so they say, um, a amen, amen, hallelujah. Don't, don't mind this one right here. He's, uh, uh, he's... Uh, St. Clappington well, uh, took, the me, uh, uh, it took me under the wing, and I'm just, I'm just trying to live. I'm just, I'm doing my best, sir. Sir, look at, look at this child's hat. Do you see how wonderful and expensive looking it is? If this child was struggling and needing to be rehomed, would they really have such an expensive looking hat? Hmm. That is a right pretty hat. Cannot deny. Well, you make a good point, but I see you got a couple altar boys. I'm, I'm watching Those... you. <laughs> Sheriff no, leaves they're... the... <laughs> leaves the church. They get here, they play Magic the Gathering the now. Sheriff the, the, <laughs> the, sh the sheriff leaves the church. The All sheriff right, see leaves. You, Pink. Well, All right. Devlin, you're outnumbered now. <clears throat> well, I never... Well, I, I, see, I see no need for a bicker in here. You, we could, you could use our help. You could run a tighter ship. Father, if you don't mind my saying, there can only be one pastor here, and it's You're, me. You, you are on. You are definitely the pastor. Of that, we will not dispute. But couldn't you use a helping hand, perhaps like an assistant pastor, to to help you do counseling or some such, and free up your time for more important tasks? Speaking as GM Saint Clappington, would you be down to be an assistant pastor? <laughs> Nay. <laughs> well, I tried. <laughs> well, this is St. Clappington's church now, and you could be the assistant That's instead. Right, Chris. That's right. <laughs> Thank Speak you. Amen. Speak Amen. Your church, Chris. You hear that, Devlin? <laughs> Even the children are on my side. You've lost everything. I'm giving you one last chance to walk away with your honor. An old or... fashioned preach off. A preach off. That's we, right. We'd be preach the loser out of town. That's yeah. right. On our next you wagon. don't have Bible too, unlike Saint Clappington. <laughs> That's right. Oh, look in the same hill. You know what? He picks up his suitcases, begins to walk back towards the the exit of the church, looks back at you, and says, "There will be retribution," and leaves the church as um the rest of the people filling up the pews kind of you know look on awkwardly and you know get up get ready to leave because the sermon's over but eventually it's just you guys in there and it looks like you've successfully managed to ask the reverend to leave and the reverend has indeed left so it's just you three now looks like the holier man won yeah <laughs> Amen. Amen. very good job what was your name chris Chris Scarface Reynolds, sir. <laughs> huh? All right, well, Chris, you, you, you did a good part of uh, helping us get rid of that reverend there. Do of you, course. Do, so do you have a home? 
I this Actually. is this is my home. That's right. The well, Lord's you're... home is my home. Amen. That... Amen, Chris. Amen. And uh I think I you know, I think I think we got something here. This 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 group of of uh <laughs> adventurous people. Oh. How much uh, how much cash did you manage to grab? <laughs> Uh, they give. All right, Chris looks the rough rifles through the bills. It looks like you've got about two cash. Uh, about oh. about two dollars, sir. Oh, shit. That, that's probably enough, no, sir. I, you, you don't you don't care about me for the money. You care about me for being a loyal follower of the Lord. Well, there's two only two dollars. And three of us, so we're gonna have to roll for it, I think. Well, I'll take so, the next dollar. I ain't in no hurry. Alright. Wait, wait, you guys don't have any money? I'm in I'm the red, Chris. I'm in I... dire need of a foot. <laughs> huh? So y you guys are just ripping ripping off a child, really? I only have I'm two not dollars. ripping off no child. You're just a child. What debt could you possibly have? I I I have I have this cool hat that I got. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what, Chris. I have a lot of debt. I borrowed some money from the bank because I wanted to start a frozen yogurt place. That was a stupid idea out here in the western desert. But, you know, on paper, I thought it was good. It's like, hey, it's hot here. People are going to want frozen yogurt. But I don't got no cows. I, I, I don't think we've even invented yogurt yet. I, I thought you had a lot of money because you would take the donations from the people from church. I mean, that's the whole reason why I came here. I spent it all. You see my gun? <laughs> <laughs> why don't you sell your gun then? Oh, no. I need this to kill people, Chris. <laughs> kill people? Wait. <laughs> see my gun? It's like, it's called, I call it the Mother of Pearl. You see this Gucci gleam on it. It shines in the, under the moonlight, all sorts of colors. It's nice and ornate. Because I'm, a, as a representative of the Lord, I need to look the best when I'm gunning down sinners! Uh, St. Clapington, I have a question. As, yes. a, as a... As a follower of the Lord, especially being the Father, shouldn't you be more conservative? And be humble with money and wealth? First off, I didn't say I was no father. I'm just a saint. But, so, second of sorry, all... Sorry, sir. Second of all, uh, I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> I spent it, but I don't got it. That's just the truth of things. And sometimes it's about knowing, you know, to take take life one step at a time, Chris. You'll learn soon enough. Maybe it is righteous to pay your debts. Mm -hmm. It's a sore spot, huh, sir? You know, it's, uh, you can't, all these people... All these sinners, they're worried about step three when they haven't even gotten to step two, let alone step one. That's what I, I'm trying to live my life as, as the Lord intended, one step at a time. So, it's very deep, give sir, me those two dollars. <laughs> okay. This is, this is my life savings, but okay. I'll, That's I'll... your life savings? You just got it right now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> From these people. <laughs> I, I know, but... You know, the moment I that. touch this. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. <laughs> you snatch the dollars back uh, from Chris, a crestfallen Chris. Um, Ned Emerson comes up to Chris and kind of pats Chris on the back and says, y you'll, you'll get used to it. He's always like this, but he's really not a bad guy. If you you think quiet, about it. Ted. Oh, you'll okay. tell no one about how I am. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, sir. I'll get back to clean, cleaning the pews. I'm sorry. Go, go clean. Go All clean right. my church now, Ted. Okay. Get on with it. All right. I'm sorry, sir. And Reverend, I'm sorry. <laughs> Starts cleaning the pews. Um, as it looks as though Ned Emerson has now accepted you as the now the new Reverend of the chapel. Um, now evening approaches, and it's time for dinner. Mm. What my, are we having? My time to shine. What are we having, Cookie? Well, better not about, be how, pumpkin spice latte. No, 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 no. That's just what I serve to guess. For uh, for our posse, you just get the pumpkin stew. Ooh. If we can get some meat in there, we can. If we can't, we can't. But we just we just cooking a nice little pumpkin stew. All right. And maybe oh, some pumpkin bread. 
Yeah. To, to mop it up. All right. Do we have anything else aside from <laughs> Chris is picky. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, <laughs> Mr. Calumet. Uh, that sounds amazing. <laughs> picky child. Chris, no. I've been eating pumpkin for the past two years. <laughs> every two day weeks. Of every day. <laughs> Oh, two weeks and I'm already sick of it. I can't I close my it. eyes and I see pumpkin. That's it. Well, all right. If you fellas are picky, I can try to mix it up a little bit. What do you What do you got the hankering for? It's too pumpkin late now. I'm done. Cool. <laughs> well, why didn't you say so? <laughs> I, made one, I made one for myself, but you know what? You know what, St. Clappington? You can have mine. Oh, I'll vote I'd love tonight. to. Yeah, you sharing some of your pumpkin spice lots of Sure thing. Pumpkin spice gumbo. Mm. Who could say? Oh. Well, well let's... I can I can make a chili if you guys are tired of pumpkin. Ooh. Just sneak a little oh, bit of yeah. sneak a little bit of pumpkin in there. You won't even know it's in oh. there. <laughs> you all dice right. it up real thin. You let it you let it melt. You won't even know it's in there. Where do you even get all these pumpkins from? The Lord provides it. Oh, I just walk out there. <laughs> I just walk out there. Just a pumpkin. It's wild. <laughs> I want to have you go ahead and roll survive to see how good this uh, food you're making is. So let's do a let's do a survive roll. I have one survival. Okay. One d six. Of course, it's a masterpiece. Um, you this managed. This is the most delicious pumpkin I've ever had, <laughs> Caliban. I, I'm telling you, I know how to cook cooks me a pumpkin. If you're sick of it, I could try to cook you something else. I make no promises for the quality of it, but I do my best, sir. I do my best, but I will take that into consideration. And the next time we sit down to break bread, I will not cook pumpkin. For Chris. Hey, Chris, you can have the rest of this. Eh. Oh, uh, oh, thank you. Oh, oh, this is actually pretty good. This time. This uh, time. This is <clears throat> You guys enjoy... Good. Cookie's delicious meal. It looks like Cookie really hit this one out of the park. Um, you had your doubts because you know it's fucking pumpkin again, but but this this is something else. This is on another level of cooking. You guys enjoy your delicious meal. Have some chit chat with each other. Ned sits in the corner eating because he's scared of all y'all motherfuckers. He sits he sits in the corner. But you guys enjoy your time chatting with each other, and it looks as though you formed yourself a little posse. What do you choose to call yourselves? Two, well, two, and a, two and a half hats? <laughs> no, hold on. Wait. Mr. Caliban, what do you mean by... What? Say that one more time. Par pardon? Uh, oh, no. Two, two and a half hats? No. Two and a half hats. I like the ring of it. No, I, Who's the half Listen, hat? Caliban, you're Of course a hat. it's me! Of course it's me! I know, you, you're putting down your hat, sir. Well, I of wouldn't really say me. your hat is half a hat, even though it's a little lackluster over there. I wouldn't put yourself down like that, Caliban. I mean, yeah, St. Clappington's hat is like less than half, so... Hmm? Yeah, I guess it doesn't make sense. Are we, no. are we, are we venturing into what? the territory of 1.75 hats? No, no, no. That that's too wordy. When when the when the sinners are fearing. Well, look how see. big Chris's hat is. I feel like two and a half hats is an accurate assessment of how many hats we have total. So if your hat that's is less than one, that's one and a half one, hats at the least. That might be a twofer right there. You, you 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 know what I'm saying? I see an aggregate cumulative two and a half hats. Exactly. My, so exactly, Saint. That's, that your good. seven point five hat. Chris is one point seven five. Point seven five hat, and my well, 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 sir. In, in that case, you would have no hats, correct? <laughs> the math don't add up and, there. And, I, and, I, I believe. I think my... it does add up. So, I mean, nothing. We, we need to find a counting machine. <laughs> this is why they call them the dunces of the dying west. <laughs> Break out the abacus. We could just eyeball it. It's the wild okay, west. We have two point right. five hats. I believe we you should right. be fine. I, I can we acquiesce. don't need math in the wild west. I can acquiesce. Doing a two, doing a two and a half, two and one half hats. Doesn't really matter if it's actually two point six three hats in the end. Two point five. It's a nice number. People remember it better. All right. 
As you guys are discussing the mathematics, the mathematical equation of being called two and a half <laughs> strikes <laughs> for many hours late into the night, eventually you guys begin to feel a bit sleepy. It might be time to hit the oh. hay, you think to yourselves. To but before you can even get to bed, you find yourselves just kind of falling on the floor and going to sleep. That's a mighty, mighty strong, mighty strong hankering for sleep more than more than usual. Well, that's a little suspicious, but that's kind of I... <laughs> that's kind of strange. And before you know it, all three of you have passed out asleep, completely and utterly asleep to the point where you dream so deeply you've never had a deeper dream in your life darn tootin and then eventually when you do come to it's not the type of nice waking up on a sunny sunny day in the west where you hear the birds chirping and the sun is filtering through the window no 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 this is much different this is the type of waking up that only happens when you are in a coma or you took what? yourself some sleeping pills. What the? That's right. You wake up in the desert. What? You you wake up in the desert. In Sand Hill. The first thing you <laughs> notice <laughs> is that all of you have been buried in sand except for your heads sticking out of the ground. Oh. No, not again! <laughs> Calban, wake up! Chris, wake up! What did Clapperton. you put in the suit? Sing Clapperton. It was, wasn't me. I have no idea what happened. Might have been that that devilish preacher man. No. You hear a little chuckling off in the distance. <laughs> wakey, wakey. It looks oh, like the, the dunces of the dying west have finally awoken, haven't they, boys? And you see three silhouettes in the distance, shadows against the stars out in the desert. Real suspicious folk. Someone roll squint. I, uh, I will roll squint. I can't see. Two d six. I have two two. Sure thing. Roll two d six to assess the situation. All right. It looks like you've succeeded. You I squint. squint into the night to try to get the beat on our assailants. All right. In order to get the beat on your assailants, you you squint with all your might and try and try and see what these silhouetted folk look like somehow beneath the moonlight. And you can you can parse for yourself three different figures, some real wily looking figures. There's there's one, a man. He's a little crouched over. Looks like he's probably in his in his forties. Uh, he's got he's got himself a mustache and a long beard and a big old cowboy hat. He's in the middle, and he's got a revolver right at his side. Additionally, there's a real, there's a real large one, a tanky one, beside him. Could be in his 30s. Can't really see much about him. His features are very round, though. And then you see a madam, a lady, a very old lady, probably in her 60s. But she looks, she looks like she could beat the shit out of you. Goddamn, you do not want to mess with her. The three of them kind of chuckle and laugh as they, they look at your bodies down in the ground, your heads just sticking out of the, out of the sand. They just continue to laugh. <laughs> Look at these fools. Can I start laughing with them? <laughs> you got me now. Calvin, <laughs> quit it. What do you Cal say? Calvin stops. <laughs> <laughs> they stop laughing too. They they kind of I think it's kind of awkward now. <laughs> uh, well, well, Saint Clapperton, I see I see three tough-looking cookies. One one coveted large round boy, a cowpoke. And, uh, and a tough old lady you don't want to mess with. By the looks I've of been her. trying to no. lose weight recently, says the larger man. And you're um, doing a fine job of it. If you need a dietitian, I am at your service, sir. Don't believe him. All <laughs> Chris, he does is feed me 1,500 calorie pumpkin spice lattes every night. If I didn't um, do so much pre. <laughs> uh, can Chris shout for help at the. <laughs> Please, you want to shout please, for help? Oh, yeah, I, I've been, I've been, I've been held hostage Chris. by Saint Clapping and Sir Calvin. Please help me! Up, I'm just a little kid. Please help! 
Oh my god. Yeah, that's right. I, mean, I, I did it. I do it again. I see you've come to save this poor boy and un un unearth him from, from the sands because I've kidnapped him with the help of my friend here. Right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're, a, we're a right pair of rogues, we are. Right, we, 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 we stole this boy and nothing to do with anything. So as, as heroes out here, I'm surely you're about to unearth this boy with the nice big hat, right? And they stole my money, my two dollars, my life savings. Whoa, whoa, I have no, 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 no. <laughs> they they I... took everything from me, a little kid. Yeah. I have a broken soul. Shut up! They all slap each one of you. Each one slaps one of you. Cross the face. <clears throat> quiet down. Yeah, quiet down, says the older woman. We know the whole situation here, the whole shakedown, if you will. We got, we got the lowdown from the Reverend. He's the one that paid us that good money to put you here. I should have shot that bastard. <laughs> I, th I think there's been a big misunderstanding <laughs> here. Look, we ain't no God-fearing people. For us, money, money is our God. So we were happy to put you both, all three of you, into this hole here. Well... There's really nothing that can be done for you now. But, but we don't have any money, except maybe St. Clappington, he, he took two dollars from me. Boy, were you listening? Says the main one in the middle. We already been paid. We done did our job. We're just here to laugh at you now. By the way, my name's Pony Mitchell of the Outhouse Boys. We are the new reigning bandit kings of the West. <laughs> the maybe. Boys, I, I heard about these fellas. Oh, oh really? Boys. You heard oh. about us? Oh I, man, I, we're getting I, I, famous! I have, I have, uh, uh, that's right, mister. Wow. I have heard about you. I've, I, tales of the outhouse boys come far. They've reached my ears. They've said that you, you boys are God-fearing men. Is that right? And one, and one woman. That's right, and one mom, woman. and that's one right. woman. Is that true? Because I'm, uh, you know I'm a saint. Servant of the Lord. You wanted to want to get on the Lord's bad side. No, we, we already done said we ain't oh. God fearing bandits. We already got paid. Money is king out oh, here in the well, West. We don't give a good goddamn so, about then, your God. You know, I, I, I'll, I'll make you a deal here. I'll trade you my secret stash of gold. More gold than you've ever seen in your life. It's worthless to me when weighed against the value of my own life and the life of my Sir Caliban here. And to some degree, Chris, this Chris. little boy, Chris. Now it's, <gasps> it's, if I look up into the night sky, I see, I, yes, yes, it should, it should be right over there, right behind you by that cactus buried. I swear. <laughs> oh, and it, it's a, it's a special <laughs> kind of hole that can, Oh man. Right. And it's a special kind of hole that if it's, I've, I, you know, I, I, I meet, need to protect my gold. So I've designed it in a way where if only a singular person or two people or more than three people try to unearth this treasure, it will collapse in on itself and to never be found. It, it takes exactly three people to turn around and dig up that treasure over there by that cactus. So I, in exchange for this information, I'm sure you would let us live, right? Roll swindle. <laughs> Go on, roll swindle. Twice, right? Uh, once. 2D6. Well, two, two once. D, two D6. 2D6, okay. Give us a 2D6. <sighs> Woo! <laughs> oh, wow. Damn. Ma, I really believe this guy. He seems like he knows what he's talking about. Right. You would say you would say you trust me, don't you? Shut it, Bert. I don't know if I believe this guy over here. Let me squint real hard at him. Oh, this God fear a man of the Lord. Should I believe him? Should I not? What should we do here? Huh? Exactly three people, you say. That's right. Well, there's three of us, so That's right. let's go see if the gold's there, shall we? 
All right, you, so you're right. taking my word for it. It will All take your you. word for it, but you guys you. are going to have to wait while we dig up the gold. Oh, would, you, would you say <laughs> that uh, you, so you're saying you're trusting my word then, is that right? Outhouse boys and one woman? I would say so, yeah. Let's go ahead and see if the gold's over there. All right, I, sh I feel so buried <laughs> under the sand. I I, I feel I clutch the handle of my revolver. I shoot. <laughs> I shoot. Bop, bop, bop. You shoot in the ground? <laughs> I shoot through the sand. Upwards. Bro, you, bro, I don't think you understand. You're yeah, we buried. Need to, we need to dig ourselves up first, but we have an opening because they ain't paying attention to us, correct? That is true, but literally only your heads are peeking out of the ground. Exactly. God guides my bullet through the sandy pressure. I swear it. All right. <laughs> There's no way. All right. There's this no is a way. hard action. <laughs> this is a hard action. So you're gonna have to you're gonna have to roll with power. Roll power for your gun. Uh, that's a that's however many d sixes are in power. It's a hard action, so it's gotta be it's gotta be a six. Okay, I have, I've, I've one filled in. So that's that one. Two? That's one. That's one. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you shoot into the ground and it makes a noise. Oh, Ma, was that an earthquake? Uh, I don't think uh, that was no or, earthquake. Or, <laughs> I think that was someone trying to be sneaky. No, 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 <laughs> Chris. Oh, I told you. Chris. Yeah, you... I have a really bad stomach. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> um, he has a Oh, Lordy, um, I can smell it from here. Wait a minute. All y'all shut up. Hold on. Did you just say Chris? Chris? Uh, Scarface yeah. Reynolds? Yeah, yes, sir. That's me. That kid that got, got cheating at cards. Uh, uh. Yeah, maybe, yes, maybe. So you're a real, you're a real card player, aren't you? Says the, the main one, Pony Mitchell, kind of squats down in front of you. You like playing cards? You like cheating at cards? Uh, I win games fair and square, but apparently because I'm just too cracked at it, people just think I'm a cheat. But I, I just, just, that's just wrong. That's mm. just... Pony Mitchell pats your cheek and says, that's the spirit, that's the spirit, kid. We've been looking for someone who can cheat at cards to pull off a little, a little heist on our behalf. Really? Yeah. Oh, oh I, I, I could, I could, I could be a really good asset to, uh, to you guys. I, I'm just like, I, I can adapt really quickly in a new environment. I can... I can wash the dishes. I can I can do anything. Oh, kid, we ain't doing the mission. You got y'all. You all are gonna go on your own. We have a job for all of you, all y'all, little yellow bellies. If you want to take a little job here, we'll set you free. But we gotta strike a little deal first. Okay. We are amenable to a deal. If you will, if you will, uh, if you will let us go. What is, what is the deal? All right, but the kids gotta go with you. Okay. Understood. Damn. Kids, okay. very cool <laughs> yes. This. yes, sir. All right. So here's the deal. Every Monday, there's a train that rolls by about a couple miles south of here. A train that passes by with a very important poker game happening on it. That's right, there's a real high roller, an oil baron named Oliver Crosby, the oil man, and he holds his high stake poker game on a train that passes by every single Monday. Right? So, what I need you, what all three of us need you folks to do is go grab that treasure for us. See, we were gonna do it ourselves, but my ma's got a bad back, and I'm I'm really not trying to put her into any any bad situations recently, so figured we could go hire some other outlaws to take care of it instead. Of course, this is an exchange for your lives, so you will be doing this for free. Well, but maybe we should cut him a percentage, brother. I think we should cut him a percentage. Oh, let's see. Has say about 2% of the, the treasure. See, there's some treasure on that, that train. See, of course, the oil baron brings a lot of money on there to, to bet in his poker game. Some other really high rollers, too, bring a lot of money to bet in that game. So, we need you to steal all of it. This is a train robbery, boys! Well, 
doesn't seem like we have much of an option here. <laughs> so we... That's exciting. Oh, we and we should just, yeah, yeah. I mean, we'll do it. Count us in. Yeah, we'll free do us. Do it. Yeah. Free us, and we'll 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 get that treasure for you. All right. So a deal's a deal, then. You'd shake deal's on it, deal. but <laughs> looks like y'all are in a bit of a predicament. <laughs> they break out into laughter in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Yes, sir. <laughs> they immediately stop laughing. <laughs> well, that was awkward. Anyway, yeah, we'll un we'll undig you, but first we need to put y'all to sleep real quick. You know, because we can't have you, you know, turning your backs on us, trying to right. trying to hurt us. But so here's you're just the deal: gonna feed me some kind of sleeping thing, right? Oh no, much better. And they all punch you out, each one of you. <laughs> 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 They punch each one of you out, and uh, you go back to to Sleepy Land. Back to Sleepy Land. Oh, pumpkins! Oh, oh God! You dream no of pumpkins. pumpkins. Oh. Alrighty, and then you guys eventually wake up in the morning, and the, the sun is breaking over the horizon, and you all have been dug up. We're free. Bodies laying on the ground. A little, little roughed up, worse for wear. You can see a couple rattlesnakes kind of slithering around you guys. Some vultures. Oh, God, Chris! Oh, <laughs> I got this! I got this! <laughs> you shoot the rattlesnakes? I, I, I kill, I kill the rattlesnakes using the well-used knife. All right. <laughs> You use the well-used knife to kill them. I'll go ahead and give that to you. Easily, you kill the rattlesnakes. <laughs> you have taken it life like from this world. Looks like meat's back on the menu, boys. Looks like meat's back on the menu, finally. Something that's Woo! not pumpkin. Oh, Woo! sustenance. Sweet, sweet sustenance. Oh, uh, now y'all have some meat for, for breakfast. It was something that you guys quickly realize is that you're a bit far from home. Wherever they dragged you out to is pretty far from town, but there are some train tracks nearby at a station. Like they said, a couple miles south. You figure if you follow the train tracks, you might be able to find the station. All right, gang, this is what we're gonna do. Right, we're gonna I go. I do. Run mm -hmm. for it. We're gonna go to. St no, you, where are you going? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just stay right here. Just an idea, sir. Oh, out, out, out. Outback Steakhouse Boys, I forget what those fellas were even called, but whatever. <laughs> they said there was treasure on that train. Now, here yes, I sir, was thinking we would just make a break for it and never be seen again, but now that they say that, I'm thinking we take that treasure. All right. How are we going to do it? Well, I'm not a violent man, so I think fighting's out of question. How many how many people they got on that train anyway? It's, like, it's going to be like Snowpiercer in there. <laughs> But our little Chris here has a reputation for being a cheat, right? Not not a cheat, just a pro pro card gamer. But you, my friend, Mr. Cal, Cal what's your name again? Caliban, Caliban. Cookie Caliban, Cookie. Just testing you. Make sure you who you say you are. But you, my friend, have a reputation for the opposite. I hear. I, I am an honorable, honorable man, sir, and I am in possession for some reason of a loaded deck. Uh, Which I'm willing to lend to the little scalawag here, no, if no, it'll no. No, no, understood. No. You, my friend, <laughs> you, my friend, are gonna participate in that tournament with your low deck and win the treasure fair and square. I will Ooh. warn you, sir, that I am not a swindling type. Well, that's Perhaps. exactly why they would never expect it. We sent Chris in there with his big old hat. They're gonna think the worst. He's got a reputation for being a cheat. Understood. I un I understand. So while you participate, we and Chris be in the shadows. Right, set it up. Things go awry. We'll be there for backup. But that's my plan. We'll figure it out from there. What say you, Chris? Well, well, if there's things head south, we can probably just blah blah and then get the treasure. Holy! In. No! My God! I, I Chris. thought it was a pretty good. Plan B, no. You're a violent child. I, I thought you liked violence, sir. I didn't say that any any which way, Chris. <laughs> Real children of the corn. No. Oh. <laughs> Bull hockey, I, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> All 
All right, sounds like you guys have made yourselves a little plan. Well, as the sun is rising and it is a Monday, you guys are going to need to get moving and grooving over to the station if you want any hope of getting on that train. Now, you do realize that there are a couple things that you're going to have to keep in mind, like, like how are you going to get a ticket for the train? How are you going to get into that poker game? But you figure that you can iron all those details out as long as you get on that train, and getting on that train is of utmost importance because if you miss it, it's all over. So, each Time's and every wasted. one of you is going to have to... You guys are gonna have to gonna have to roll. Um, you guys are gonna have to roll to move quick. Oh roll no, hustle! hustle. Uh oh. Let's see some hustle. I Everybody roll no, hustle. I have nothing into hustle. Therefore, right. I have to roll two and take the lower. Right. That's correct. That is unfortunate. Let's see how you do. I will go first. Ooh, that's not good. That's not the best. Cookie's real slow, sadly. How about the rest of y'all? All right, we we both each have one in hustle. Yuppers. All righty, uh, that's not great either. All right, it looks like I mean, this is really bad. Y'all, y'all are slow bunch of motherfuckers. Y'all are real <laughs> we, slow. We spent, we spent the better part of twenty four hours in a hole. <laughs> it's all the <laughs> pumpkin spice latte, I tell you. I feel heavy. You sure guys could use a caffeine <laughs> boost. <laughs> Maybe that'll give us some pep in our step. You guys realize real quickly that you're not going to get there on foot. Um, however, roll squint to see if you can parse anything around you that might be able to help you. I can't see shit. What do you guys see? <laughs> Chris, maybe you should squint. I'm all squinted out. Okie dokie. These is... those young eyes of yours. Slash roll d6. Yes. D6. Yes. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> open your eyes, Chris. I, God dang. I, I need glasses. Yeah. So open your I eyes. I would like to. I would like to squint. All right, go for it. Sand flies into Chris's eyes, and Chris is unable to see for the next thirty minutes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, do you, do you have zero squint? Uh, I have I have two. Two squid. excellent. Yeah. So that means you succeed. Thankfully, um, while Chris is kind of busy rubbing rubbing the sand out of Chris's eyes, you know, just kind of crying a little bit because it really stings, man. It really hurts. <laughs> Don't um, rub it; it'll make it worse, boy. <laughs> um, Cookie, on the other hand, kind of looks around and realizes that there is a nearby ranch. There is a nearby ranch with approximately two horses tied up. Doesn't look like the Understood. owner's around. See what, what? What do you? What, what do you see, Caliban? I see on a ranch. I don't see anybody around it. I do see two pretty looking horses tied up, all by their lonesome. They look like they might be hungry. Maybe we should go get them some food. What do you think, right. Saint Cal Clappington? I'll do you one better. We steal these horses. Sorry, <laughs> borrow these horses and get on the train. There's only two. Ho well, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, one we could return the horses after, right? Or we could eat them afterwards. <laughs> wow, that boy ain't right. Free meat, free meat. We got plenty of snake meat at home. Uh, snake. Not opposed. Yeah. All right, let's 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 let's, let's, <laughs> let's go yonder and see if we can't make these horses amicable to our needs. Understood. Time's a wasting. We got to get on that trainer. Uh, the outhouse gang's going to get our gullet. <laughs> All right. Backstreet boys are out to get us. <laughs> Chris, as we mosey on over to that ranch. can't see for the next 30 minutes, I'm going to tie this little rope around you. <laughs> <laughs> like a leash. Like a leash. Just feel the, the pull. Excellent. Where we're going. Excellent. Right, there are These no eye drops here. in the west. Unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> my tears. I, I can. Are you okay, I can Chris? Cry. I can cry. What all happened? In 30 minutes, I just, it's just, my eyes. I can't see shit. <laughs> you gotta close your eyes when those dust storms kick up. You know. <laughs> as, as you lead Chris behind you, like an animal, um, and Cookie kind of leads the way to the ranch that he spotted. Um, now, 
Cookie, what you notice as you mosey on up to the ranch um, is that the horses, they're tied up, and it really did look like there was nobody there, but someone opens the door and actually comes out to greet you guys. Oh, hello there, fellas! Don't skip behind me. Hey there! <laughs> Don't see a lot of company out here in the- oh, Howdy! Oh, my lord, is- Hello, father, is that- You have a child tied up behind you? Ah. Uh, sinner. Sinner, more like. Pain is, pain is dues. We're, 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 we're bringing, I'm bringing this young boy over to various people to show people examples of what a sinner's life will lead to. Look at this boy's arm. I'm sorry. Golden. Oh Lord, the shame. Such All shame. right. Well, I don't okay. get a lot of visitors out here. Can I do something for y'all? Yes, yes. Why well, you can? Thank you. The you know you the, you'll be in the Lord's gr good graces by by helping us here. I'm just you know bit curious. Are you are you here alone? Oh well, yeah. You know my my wife passed away a couple of years ago, so now it's just me by my right. lonesome. Right, right. what what do what do you do? What do you spend your days doing here? By oh well, lonesome. I got a couple pigs and some cows and you know I, and I, horses I, and horses, yeah, and chickens. I noticed and, you have. Do you have two horses right here? I do. Yeah. Right. You you ride these horses often? Oh, on occasion. You know, if I need on to occasion. make some trips over to, to town or to the, the railway at the station that's nearby, if I'm trying to get into town, I ride one over there and then ride the train into town, actually, matter of fact. Oh, do you? Wow. Yeah. Wow. So yeah, you wouldn't happen to have a wagon, would you? We, we really pressed on time to get to that train station. We would a, be, wa a wagon. We would be obliged if you could help us get to that train station safe and sound. Oh, Lord, I don't know. See, we've only just met, and uh, I'm really not very trusting of strangers, you see. Understandable, sir. We are in quite a hurry. We got to get on that train at any How cost. How about this? Well, what was your name? What was your name, sir? Uh, me? I'm, uh, I'm Billy. 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 Billy just Billy. call me Billy. Billy. Billy, Billy, <laughs> Billy. Yeah. Billy boy. I'll make you a deal. Yeah. In my pocket, I have but two cash. Oh. Might I buy your horse for one cash each? Oh, I'm sorry. Each one of these here the horses is real purebred. They're each worth three cash minimum. Oh. Ooh. I don't know about that, Billy. They're used. I don't know if there's really a market for used horses. Are you insulting it's three, my it's three horses? Off, it's three off the lot, and you know the second that you ride one off the lot, it halves in value. I mean, look at that one. Uh, the sir, miles on sir, that one. Billy, do you believe in the Lord? These are premium steeds, and yes, I do believe in the Lord, but I don't believe the Lord would have anyone roll up on the my ranch telling me how much my horses are worth. It's well, just, that it's, is unfortunate, sir. I mean, uh, Sir Clappington is a saint, and if you if you follow if you follow his wishes, you will be blessed by the Lord each and every day, and you will get a special seat in heaven or something. I don't really know. <laughs> roll, roll, <laughs> all right, Chris. Roll straight talk. Straight talk. Yeah, roll your straight talk. How many dots do you have in straight talk? Straight talk. Mm, I don't think none. none. All right, roll two d six, and we'll take the lowest one. What happens if I assist? Oh, you can I have add one. You can add dice to the pool, but it'll still be the lowest one. Uh, it'll still be the lowest. Okay. Yeah. 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 Sorry, Chris. You're on your own. <laughs> All right, uh, your straight talk doesn't work on the rancher. He doesn't seem to get angrier, but he's just not having it. Billy crosses his arms and says, you're going to have to make a better deal than that. Okay, well, Billy, I'd be happy to. I, I come here and I offer you a trade you don't accept. That's fair. That's You're within your right. Uh, you know, I don't mind what this, what this boy here is saying. He's a sinner and he's quite, uh, you know, it's hot out here in the desert. As you know, being an inhabitant of said desert, and uh, you know, we 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 respect your right as a citizen of this here land to deny the trade. But um, might I ask, 
It is mighty hot out here. Look at this boy. Look at how malnourished he is. Could we perhaps come in and grab some lemonade or something, and then we'll be on our way? That's all I ask, Billy. Trying to play on my sympathies, I see. No, no, no. Just invite us in. The least you can do, it would we would be forever grateful. The Lord would be forever grateful. All right. You need you need you need something of value for that horse, correct? Uh, yes, that is true. Could I show you something that might be worth that tr in value, but uh, away from my compatriots here? No funny business. No funny business, sir. All right. And then so. <laughs> Cookie Caliban will like <laughs> flash like the Pagliacci, right? And then like he'll motion over that way to like go a little bit further away and show it to him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it's like positioned so that it's away <gasps> from. Chris, shield your eyes, boy. Oh my god. <sighs> what? By good god, my stars, what is that? That, sir, is an Italian revolver wielded by the legendary Pagliacci himself who is a distant relative of myself. Good God. What would, what, would, what would you, what value would you put on that there pistol right there? Well. Like as, as he's like walking, right? Like a little bit further away from the group. Well, well, I never, I would say that's definitely worth my two steeds. That's all I'd give though. All right, well, while Vesper, or while Caliban has him distracted, I'm gonna walk up and shoot him in the back of the head. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, well, let's see. He doesn't trust you, and he's not running away from you. Ah, oh, true, yeah. Uh... He has not surrendered. So, what you're, you're gonna need to do a roll for me. Uh, go ahead and roll. Let's make it precision for a headshot. All right, is there any uh, qualif or any other qualities to this roll? Is it just a D6? Let me see. Okay, I've won. I've won. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. <laughs> All right. Um, so you um, you shoot him. You shoot him dead in the head. Bang! <laughs> And Billy, Billy is no more. Billy boy, he is no more. You have killed this man, and uh, he is on the ground. Chris, you just watched a man die. But it wasn't you. No, but it wasn't you. He's blinded. He's blinded. He can't see nothing. And everyone's telling me to close my eyes, but I can't see Chris, anything that was anyway. That you was hear nothing. a body you fall to the ground. Shot. Chris, that was nothing. You, gentleman dropped some cookie tray. Don't mind oh. it. Oh, okay. Oh, where did where did Billy go? Where did Sir Billy go? Caliban, what 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 happened? Can you what happened with Billy? Are we free to take the horses? What's going on? <laughs> can I can I roleplay something if you be Go, funny. go for it. I get like covered in like blood. <laughs> mm. Because I was like yeah. next to him, right? Yeah, you are you are splattered completely with yeah, his yeah, brains yeah. and viscera. Jumping Jehoshaphat! Saint Cal <laughs> Saint Clapperton, could you could you mind the splashback? <laughs> that is disgusting! We're the cookies are disgusting. Trying to help you out here, oh, sir, but it's the lemonade, Chris. He spilt his lemonade all over himself. It's a shame. Oh man, a man at his age is spilling lemonade all over himself, mm. man. You what promised is. me, sir, no more gray it's matter on my persons if I assist you. I am trying my best to assist you, but this is disgusting. I think the horses should be ours, but we don't know if there's more people on the ranch. Perhaps we should, uh, oh, no. Billy secure said, Billy, I took it. You look like a trustworthy man. I took his word for it. There's no well, I guess I guess we take the horses then. Let's just take the horses. Hold can, right. I, can I please wash myself just a little? <laughs> um, You want to go in the house and... To like a water trough or something I could just uh, like you go wash yourself yeah, I'm gonna check yeah, I'm gonna yeah. check his pockets yeah. uh, there is a water trough it's very nasty you could also go inside the house but it's up to you In, inside the house inside all right the house. you go inside the house to wash up and you see the house is filled with pictures of Billy and his wife but <laughs> Lord have mercy <laughs> they also had I a dog it was very cute right, 
Is the dog alive? Is it like... No, you don't You don't see any dog, oh, but the dog okay. is in the okay. pictures. They look very happy, smiling with their dog. <laughs> that man is now dead. Cookies but shakes you know his head. not dead? The stuff in his pockets. I'm checking his pockets. This is a bad man. <laughs> is, there, is there water around? Can I can I wash my eyes out? I can't. I can't oh, see anything. If you say that out loud, then then Cookie will come back out and is like, yeah, 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 this way, youngster. I'll take the rope and uh -huh. lead, lead lead Chris over to like the wash basin. Yeah, you lead Chris to the wash basin. Chris uh, washes out Chris's eyes, takes all the sand out, and uh, sees all these pictures of this happy family. Don't look, Chris. <laughs> While they do that, I'm gonna on out. go to oh. the barn in the back and what am I, what am I unhatch to the gate and let the pigs loose. <laughs> what the fuck? All right, you do that. Uh, you let the pigs loose. It was very easy to do. They uh, oink and squeal. They're very hungry, go. though. They're kind of aggressive. Go, my piggies, go. <laughs> they are free. Before Chris comes back. They are free. Th they run free. <laughs> Uh, of course, I mean, that All is right. kind of the nice thing to do. There's no one to feed these animals, so. Well, we'll come back out and be like, time's a wasting. That train's not. The train's going to get up, get away from us if we don't get there fast, right? Train mm. station. Mm. True enough. All right. So you guys can we ride on. two to one horse? Can we ride two to one horse or do we have to make a decision here? What's oh. the hell's going on? You, you reckon you weigh more than me? Caliban. I don't know, sir, but perhaps we could save a pig and Chris could ride a pig. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> We're pretty oh. quick. A hog is a pretty quick animal. We're pretty sprightly. All right. And delicious. I just let those little dudes out. Ah. Uh, They're gone. <laughs> yeah, the pigs have well, run away. See, over yonder. Understood. I guess we'll we'll fight. We'll, yeah, we'll, we'll one, one of these horses is just going to have to work a little extra harder. Yeah, well, there should I mean, be a stronger horse, right? Well, Chris is small, you know, still kind of a kid, so, you know, you, you can pair each other up as you wish. Whoever's heaviest could probably have their own horse. You figure. All right. First order of business, we got to name these new steeds of ours. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that's the most important. We could, we could name them while we ride, right? <laughs> right? Saint, All right, let's get riding. St. Clapperton, let's, let's ride. All right. I hereby dub my steed, Billy. Get! <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> that is some absolute psychopath behavior, Saint. All right. Can I see that Billy's dead body out in the open? Yes. Oh, oh. my god! <laughs> oh yeah, I shot that guy, Chris. It is what it is. <laughs> I, thought, I thought it was just a cookie <laughs> tray, man! <laughs> Why? You killed a man, Saint Clapton. Sometimes, you know. You're a psychopath with a psychopath, man. No. At least you checked his pockets, right? <laughs> 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 You're so bad. He had nothing in there. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> Good lord. I guess we should get going then. All right. Alright, yeah. <laughs> right, you guys saddle up and get riding onward on Billy and, uh, well, as you continue um, toward riding toward the, the sun at the same direction as the railroad tracks, what do you decide to name the other one? That's your seed there, Caliban. What do you uh, name it? I think I think we should let Chris name this one just to get him, to get sure him thing. back in the saddle again, so to speak. This silly. could be your horse, Chris. Silly. Silly. Billy oh, silly. So... <laughs> silly and Billy. Yeah. <laughs> silly Billy. Silly. <laughs> That's a good one. I like it. Silly. <laughs> right. Silly, silly Billy. Yeah. <laughs> I love how Chris is such a little baby child. <laughs> so small. <laughs> so. So. Just ignore the dead body. Ignoring the dead body of Billy that you killed in cold blood, Billy who was just protecting his ranch and honoring the memory of his wife and his dog, um, you take the horses that belong to Billy, who is now dead, who did nothing wrong, um, and you ride forward toward where the sun is rising in the direction um, of the, the train tracks. Um, oh, he gave him an offer he couldn't refuse, and he refused it. 
Well, he did. <laughs> he sure did. Um, yeah. yeah, you ro you ride onward, and eventually um, you realize that uh, you're actually keeping up with the train. The train comes bursting by you um, at breakneck oh, speed. But you're able to keep up fairly well with it um, all the way up until the station. You make it just barely in time to the train station, which is really more like a like a random little depot, like a, a random stop out in the out in the middle of nowhere. Because it's not really so much a station as it more as a platform. Um, likewise, there is no box to buy any ticket. Hmm. Huh. So the people that are waiting by the platform, they seem to actually all have their tickets ready. Just a couple of folk, um, some some a bit more high-end and bougie looking than others. There are a couple of, couple of rustlers there, a couple real nasty cowboy types that also have tickets, but you do not think that their car is probably very nice. Um, real cheap tickets too. Uh, waiting by the platform and the train screeches to a halt as do your horses and the dust flies up in the air as you pull the brakes on your steeds and load off. The train stops, but you feel like it won't be stopping for very long. What do you do? All right, gentlemen, we have to get ourselves on board that train right there. Unfortunately, we don't have any tickets to our name. It doesn't look like they're selling any either. We wouldn't be able to buy it anyways. We have but two cash and it's mine. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Oh. But those 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 people lined up. Perhaps perhaps we were able we might be able to negotiate with negotiate them. Negotiate or perhaps trick Chris. You distract them. You pretend to be some sort of young lad in need of some help. They're they're dressed dressed all posh. I think they are of weak constitution and fat of pocket. You distract them while we yoink you ain't their little tickets. What say you, Chris? You think you could do this? Uh, I think I think that's a great idea, but uh, maybe we can nab some tickets by just uh, I don't know, putting a putting a gun against their face. All right, mm. sounds good. Ter I terrifying. grab Chris, I pick him up, and I turn the corner of the train like out in front of everyone. I say, nobody. Oh. Wait, what do you, what do you say? Hand over your tickets! <laughs> Sorry, oh, this little boy here gets it! <laughs> oh, I don't want to die yet! I miss my mommy! This right here is my partner! You will call him! <laughs> oh my god, okay. Um, so in order to do this, uh, I'm gonna need you to straight talk. That's intimidation. Roll your straight talk. And go All ahead, right. go ahead and add, um, add some dice for um for chris as well chris what's your straight talk you're in on the action you're also trying to persuade and intimidate here uh, i have none on straight talk all right never mind then go ahead and just <laughs> roll. go ahead and just roll all right i'll do it i swear all right. Oh, damn. All right. Everybody kind of their eyes widen these these random folk. They're not used to sights like this, uh, especially the cushy looking ones. Really not used to this. Some of the more grisly looking cowboys just sort of raise an eyebrow and back away. They don't want to fight. Um, they do have their hands close to their guns, but not quite on the handles. See, they, they don't want to fight. They, too, know that violence is a risky action. Um, so they back away and um, and a couple of them, you know, put their they just kind of toss their their tickets at you. Some of them crumple crumple up their tickets and throw them at you. Um, some of the more posh-looking people, um, they kind of don't want to give in. They just sort of back away, and uh, some of them run, as a matter of fact. It looks like the only people that are really laying down their tickets for you are cowboys. Um, the people that look like they're more expensive people, they just run away. All so right. you got Cal about collect. three tickets uh on the ground. I will reluctantly collect those three tickets and then sidle over and then hand them over to to Father Father Clappington. All right, now you get. You want this little boy to live here? Go, run, run the other way. Sweet Jesus! Someone whispers. Sweet Jesus! Lord have I, mercy. I just want to see my dad one last time before I go. You be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Good lord. Lord have mercy on the children of this earth. 
They, they, they back up and just watch as you kind of... You're, you're standing there on the platform. Do you get on the train? <laughs> I'll we're, do it, I swear. In for a penny, in for a pound. I guess we get on the fucking train. <laughs> Caliban, pick up those tickets. <laughs> I did pick up the tickets and I handed them to you. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. We get on the train. All right. Don't move a muscle. We're going to step on this train now. <laughs> you guys uh, step on the train right as the brakes of the train kind of release and it gets moving. And you guys make your way onto the peasant car. All right. This is the poor folks car, you can see. <laughs> Good job, Chris. Yeah, that, that wasn't my plan. That, that, Think Levin, I'm was... in love with you. <laughs> We're probably going to get arrested sometimes. Oh, south of 24, even... 24 hours. I don't even know our names. That, that that really wasn't my plan. I didn't think you'd use me as a, <laughs> as a hostage. But, you know, I, I, guess, I guess if it works, it works. We, gotta, we have to play to our strengths, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> you do have the cold, dead eyes. Threatening people is your strength, I guess. But Calculated. Messed up. Do you guys, um, you Look guys want to, yeah, car? you want to do anything yeah. in here? Uh, all right. Well, we need to find our way to what I assume would be the poker game in the front yes. cars and the bougie carts, huh? Yes, sir. All right, well, mm -hmm. why don't we just meander on over there then? I'm guessing we don't have access to the nicer cars of the train. We'll have to find a way to get up there. See, we have a Snowpiercer situation on our hands. Here, <laughs> you keep mentioning Snowpiercer. Why is there Snowpiercer? No one what in the Chris West knows Evans. what the fuck Snowpiercer what is. What would Chris Evans do right now? Hmm. Well, why don't we just ask around the people in the car? Maybe we could glean some information we could use to our advantage. Mm. There might be a way to buy into that game. Mm. High stakes gamblers are always looking for somebody with too much money, too little sense to to take money off their hands. Correct. Mm. If we present, we present the too the face, again. the face of yes. Uh, we don't. We're not. We're not really like. <laughs> we're not really like dressed like <laughs> rich folk. Yeah, you we guys are dressed like, a little ratty. We would need like something valuable on hand. Mm. Hmm. St. Clappington has a really fancy gun. I do. A little I Gucci do. gun. My Gucci gun. Mm. Right here. You right. Do. If the gun is collateral, you wouldn't be able to shoot, though. Diamond studded. Oh, well, my friend. This right here. It's no ordinary gun. Mm -mm. This is my uh, solid iron. <laughs> and this solid iron right here returns to its, its, its wielder. Whenever I back it, so we uh, can do a little bit of a switch. After one minute, so all we need to do is stall for a minute's time. And I don't believe you. Can you show us? That sounds really cool. All right, watch this. I toss my gun over there. No, you you toss your gun onto one of the tables here in the car. Uh, a couple of the passengers that are in the peasant car kind of like give it a glance and like their eyes widen. Ooh. Oh, Everyone, oh I am the great Clappington. I'm here to perform for your entertainment. I am a magician from the East. Oh! And if I astound you all now, <laughs> perhaps you will offer some of your cash to us. <laughs> Behold! Reach my arm out. Uh-huh. My gun shall return to me. <laughs> All right, you reach out your gun. You reach out your hand. What are you trying to do exactly? Are you trying to, <laughs> to impress these people? All right, by showing them. Oh, how how it kind of comes into your hand? And I will astound them. It will take about a minute. Are we? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 I don't think it's working. Chris whispers. No, watch. See. It's a little too chill.
We could we could probably just use my my pistol. Yeah, as collateral. I think that's a better idea. After about a but I will a be <laughs> after, after, about a minute. after about a minute, everybody who was like watching before has kind of stopped watching, and then while no one's looking, it comes back into your hand. Yeah, see. Huh. What happened? <laughs> Did she just like grab for it? Okay, well. No one saw. No one was watching that. They gave up watching. Well. <laughs> just, just no acknowledgement at all. <laughs> nah, they think you're crazy at this point, honestly. A little bit. A little unhinged, not gonna lie. Well, I'm no good at I'm no good at swindling. So we'll need to rely on one of you folk to get us into the game, and then we can put up my my pistol as collateral. Although I'll be nakeder than a than a mole rat <laughs> in the Arizona desert, so I won't be able to uh, assist you in any should any bullet work go down. Mm. Mm. Well, I don't think so we have damn. any choice in the choice in the matter. I think we're gonna have to test our luck with this one. Understood. The conductor opens the door and begins walking through the cart. Tickets, please. Tickets, please. You got a ticket? Uh, how about you three? Can I get your tickets, please? Yep, right here, sir. Yes, sir. Got my ticket. Why is this one so crumpled up? Oh, you know, I get nervous on trains. <laughs> we gave we gave it to the kid. The kid just, you know, got the fidget fidgety hands. All right, well, yeah. take better care of your shit. I know this is the peasant car, but goddamn. Speaking of which, mm. yes. <laughs> oh, we, there's there's been a misunderstanding, a... sir. Wait, what did you just say? This was the what cart? Peasant, oh, the peasant car. Oh, I told you, Galand, if something was amiss. This, we are meant to be in the rich cart. We're here to take part in the gambling, the, right. the card game. Oh, we got a little lost. Yeah. Well, wait a minute, you, you talking about Crosby's game? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Oliver Crosby's game. Is that so? Hmm. All right. Well, you wouldn't be the first people here telling lies that they're trying to get into a uh, old Crosby's game. So, um, yeah. you're gonna need a little more proof than that. All I see here are three peasant tickets. Oh, that's because. Nice try. We, uh, you know, sir, you understand. Look around you. Look at these ugh, filth, riding in these carts. All sorts of uh, vagabonds, ready to pilfer our riches. We, you know, we need to blend in. So as they. Did I catch on to the fact that we are carrying many cash on our persons? Uh, how much are you? How much are you putting into the pot? Well, this is what we were planning on adding up with, and then I'll show like the Pagliacci. Whoa! Everybody in the in the car that you guys are in just stops for a moment to stare at the gun as its beautiful legacy shimmers throughout the entire car. It's beautiful, too beautiful. Everyone looks. So does the conductor. The conductor is impressed. He says, oh, Sir, where did you get this, this fine gun? How do you have this gun? It is a family heirloom, and we will be potentially putting it into Oliver Crosby's possession should we lose it in the high-stakes poker game. You don't look Italian. I am. <laughs> sir, I am... Uh, one fourth Italian, Italian on my mother's side. I will thank you to respect my heritage. <laughs> Can you speak a little Italian? Arrivederci, oh, grazie, mamma mia. Show Arrivederci. Right, do the thing. Do the thing with your hand. <laughs> <laughs> show him. Show him your people's culture. Do the thing. Cookie says Arrivederci with the hand like gestures. Uh huh. And then I do like this gesture that's very much like, eh? Bongiorno. Eh? <laughs> All right, I need a, I need a, uh, a straight talk roll. Straight talk. Um, there's like a, there's like an, like a thing that the Pagliacci can do, right? It gives me like there some is. kind of. There is. It's a legacy. Can you, can you... Yeah, yeah. Let's go and look at that. Yeah. Let's go look at the legacy really quick. I know that we wrote it. Hold on. I have one oh, straight God talk, damn. but I want to see if I can boost it. Yeah. All right. So let's go ahead and look at what the big deal of this gun is. Uh, let me see. 
Hold on. <laughs> I have too many files on my fucking computer. Um, the, the conductor says, hold on just a moment. I'm pulling up Microsoft Word. Um, and, and begins to scroll to look for look for the big deals. As he's doing it under his breath, Cookie's like, buongiorno. Buongiorno. How do me all, me old ma'am, say it? Mamma mia. Right. Mamma mia. So you can invoke Bonjourno. the legacy of your gun to succeed automatically on any role involving swindle, straight talk, or class, but you get a debt to the legacy. So while you have a debt to the legacy, you can't use the ability again. You can get rid of the debt by winning a gun duel. It can't be settled any other way. If it comes calling, someone shows up to duel you. Um, so basically, you also don't get to choose if someone wants to duel you. So get ready for that. Mm -hmm. um, yep. Then I will probably save it uh, like the, so for this role, do you, as a narrator, like declare whether it's risky or hard or anything like that? Like, yeah. Is it so? Which role are you trying to roll for? I'm trying to like roll for like what is it like? Um, we're we're trying to get into the card game, right? You're and persuading. The, That's straight yeah. talk. Yeah, straight talk. Yeah, would it be? Yes, I wouldn't call it a risky action. You're not doing anything violent. Um, if Got you it. do end up flubbing it, he's just gonna ignore you, take your ticket, and walk away. Understood. Then I will not use that, and I'll just try to roll. All right. One, one d six. Sure thing. One. Roll your okay. straight talk. Whew. One d six. Ah, two. Sorry. All right. Uh, so conductor kind of like muffles under his breath, and ah, I knew you weren't Italian. There's something <laughs> off about you. <laughs> you folks stay out of trouble. And I won't have to call over the sheriff. The sheriff is on this train, by the way, so no funny business. The American Cookie Caliban slinks away defeated. <laughs> he is not an authentic Italian. He takes your tickets and says, no funny business, and walks away. The rest of the people well, on this cart kind of like eye you for a moment, but then go back to their own business, reading books, uh, having a cigarette, kind of keeping to themselves. Well, I tried, gents. I tried. I, I can't fault you. Are you, you. You told me you're Italian. I am Italian! Uh, I'm one-fourth Italian on my mother's side. I guess that is just ain't enough for some people. You don't know Italian. Buongiorno. Mm, Arrivederci. Like, I don't speak Italian, but that sounds not so convincing. Well, sir. What are we going to do now? We got to get into that card game. I... I feel like we should we should put a put a moratorium on the shooting at least for a little while. Maybe try to use our guts and guile to get through. Oh, mm. now that now that they're out of sight, can't we just like you know just wing it and like bust through? Just bust mean... through the main door. What do you guys know about this train? Do you know anything about it? Want to maybe collect some information? Yeah, mm. yeah, guys. We yeah. don't even know what we're, how many carts are on this train. Who's on this train? There's what also a sheriff. Mm. What if we just, like, go on the roof? <laughs> uh, there is... Oh! It was mentioned there was treasure. It might not be, like, with the gamblers. It might be somewhere else. Right. But you don't seem to know mm. the approximate location of the treasure. Huh. There's often in these carts, isn't there usually a luggage room where people store their luggage? Is that not right? Mm. Maybe we could find a luggage room, swap out our duds for some fancy clothes, and look the part. I feel like oh. the conduct mm, conductor would probably recognize us, don't we? Oh, what if I talk like this? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. We can we can mosey on over to the back of the train, see what we got. Alrighty. Oh, oh, oh. All right. So since you guys don't really know much about the uh, each cart of the train, I do yeah. though. I have I have my little memo about what each each cart is. Um, uh, which which direction do you want to go? Back or backward or forward? I would reckon that the luggage is in between because the rich folk won't want to walk past the poor folk to store their luggage, you know what I'm saying? Hmm, perhaps. But I do feel like they would probably get it stowed by, like, a conductor or something. Ah. 
But didn't that person just go past us? Uh, it's better not to bump uh, into them. Chris. Uh, Chris, Chris, Chris. Good job. He's right. <laughs> the boy's right. Let's As go, expected oh, of the golden arm kid. I guess we move forward then. All right. All right. So you guys move forward into the next car. Now this car is also a peasant strain, but it's completely empty. There's no one in this one. Curious. Can I look around to see if there's anything of note? Squint. I will squint. Roll squint. All right. So it looks like uh, you succeeded. So um, what you do notice about uh, this place here is that um, there's really nobody, there's no luggage or anything. It seems like this is just not a very popular popular train to ride on, especially with the, the poker game going on. Unless anyone really needs to be on the train, they don't really feel so inclined to be on it. But you still get the feeling that you are pretty far back and away from the richer folk. Uh, additionally... Huh you hear a bit more noise coming from the next cart, like there are a bunch of people on the next one. And huh. they sound like uh, hootin' hollerers. Ho hootin' hollerers. They are not posh folk. Interesting. They sound rowdy. Saint, I believe there's, uh, there's a hootin' any going on in the car in front of us. Perhaps how we should check hootin', it out. How hootin' are we talking about here? How I'd say... Hootin'? I'd say it's a hoot and a holler and a half. Anywhere from a holler and a half right. to two hollers. Two full hollers. Right. Yeah. There's nothing <laughs> over here, so why don't I maybe among the chaos might be able to uh, sneak in, perhaps pilfer a dud or two. Who knows perhaps. what can happen? Perhaps. Perhaps. I didn't see anything of note in this train, but car, but I guess we could do a search. Are you you want to call in? There is no, no luggage. luggage in this car. You did notice. Ah, yeah. Okay. Then nothing to loot here, oh, unfortunately. Oh. There's oh, no wait. one here. Is it possible to loot their like any 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 piece of clothing, like jackets? Or... Well, there's nothing in this cart specifically. Okay. Empty car. Yeah. Empty car. Could I could I move over? to the doorway to the next cart and then like look into it and see what's going on there. Sure. You do notice that there's another little window there. Uh huh. You take a little peek and you see that there are a bunch of rowdy cowboys in the next cart also playing their own game of cards. Huh. Some card playing huh. cowboys all drinking beers. Sight, I do believe that this is a uh, this is an opportunity for promotion. Perhaps we can Gain the ante through through uh, this game, and then move on up to the next game. Word will pass that some well-apt card players are in the train with much to offer. Perhaps word will reach to the front of the carts, huh? Perhaps, okay. perhaps. They have. Well, since no one is in this car, though, can I open one of the cart windows and like? peek forward to see how many carts are in front of us sure you open the window and you take a look and as the wind kind of blows blows past you it's a wonder that your tiny hat doesn't fly off um, <laughs> you, you look through the window and you kind of clutch onto it so it doesn't go away because you are pretty fond of it of your tiny hat um you look forward and you see that there are maybe about Oh, oh lord, there's a good um, ten or so carts ahead of you. And behind you, it looks like there are only about four. Hmm, alright, well, boys. Fifteen cart train. It's a mighty long train we're on. I don't know, I guess we, we, we have a bit of a trek. Seems like a snow piercer situation, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> God damn it, it's the snow piercer. <laughs> Like, Why don't we go in that cart and see if we can't you I'm I I will guise myself as your promoter and or, see if we can't uh, get you a game to win. I do have a loaded deck if that might assist. Oh. Mhm. Mm Are we allowed to lend each other our our stuff, our equipment? Sure. Or no? That's fine. Who's going to be our who's going to be our player? I guess I can, since I have some experience with cards. 
You are known as a known cheat, though. It, it's, that's, that's true. <laughs> that's true. And my hat is kind of a dead giveaway. Um... How should we approach this? How should we approach this hustle? What uh, what what con are we gonna run? So we either we play it straight and have the unassuming person play, or we rely on some sort of reverse psychological situation where the known cheat. It would be too obvious for the known cheat to cheat. It's uh, a fair known cheat. Ah. Uh. Okay, okay. Uh, trade hats, that's funny. <laughs> so I guess the... I mean... You have a reputation for being honorable. I do, I do. I think there's no better way to play it than just... Straight. Straight? Understood. Mm -hmm. Alright. Maybe they won't even let me use my deck in the game anyway. No, I no, we can't have that. We need you to use your deck. Oh, we'll just... Exactly. You'll so need we just everything. go in? Let's go. We only have two dollars to any up, though, correct? Oh no, no. Who knows? I don't know. Well, you can win some more. Let's, let's go in. We're, okay. We'll work our way up. Got it. Understood. Alrighty. So you guys uh, go ahead and enter the next cart, and immediately your ear holes are filled with the loudest ruckus you ever did hear. As a bunch of real rowdy cowboys enter your view, they slam down their beer bottles and let out a who as somebody proudly declares that they have a royal flush. All right, boys, hand it over. And um, a, a couple of the other cowboys kind of like, kind of like sigh heavily, take a big swig of the beer, and toss over some cigarettes to the winner, who looks very, very proud of himself. Oh, they're playing for cigarettes. <laughs> perhaps Gentlemen. we should move. Perhaps we should move forward. I don't think we're gonna move, win any money here. Well, well, hold on. It's not about the money per se. We want to establish <laughs> establish oh, ourselves as oh, main sir, players. Dominance. Oh my god! Also, I could use a smoke. I don't know about you. <laughs> the cigarette case is mighty empty. If you didn't notice, gentlemen, perhaps you'd like to win more than just simple cigarettes. Oh no! Who is this guy over here? Is this uh, is this one of them almighty preacher servants of the Lord? <laughs> He's I'm got a, a tiny hat too. <laughs> Hey, hey, I you son of a clear. bitch, don't you talk about my hat, I swear. <laughs> they erupt into laughter at your hat. <laughs> Cookie starts laughing too. <laughs> I do like a gesture. Oh, and then he stops laughing. He stops laughing. <laughs> well, I'm, 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 yes, I'm one of these newfound, you may have heard of us, new circle of priests, trained priests priests on a train you may have heard yes mm, yes ah oh lord um, i need me one of those i've done some sinning recently <laughs> oh well you're in luck and usually i charge for my uh my confessional times but i'm in mighty need of uh of, of some 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 goods i'm here to offer you gentlemen a deal you play what kind my of man deal? you play my man right here and tap on tap on callahan's chest <laughs> play my man a game of cards you win, I'll hear your sins and absolve you for free. And if we win, you spread the word through the train that some mighty rich poker players are on board. What say ye, you all? Well, they kind of stare at, at you for a while and then burst into laughter. Um, one of them kind of stays silent like he's considering it. Uh, the taller one, the tall, real kind of like, dark and tall dark and handsome but kind of smells funny um he's 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 the one that's kind of quiet and he says well that's an interesting offer the more mangy uh. looking one with a with a white beard and uh, and mustache uh, kind of scraggly looking says that is the strangest idea for a game of poker i ever did here now why would we do that i mean gentlemen. i might just be drunk enough to accept but i i want to hear a better deal well, well gentlemen you have a man of God here in front of you, willing to absolve you of all your sins, give you a fresh start of a free the opportunity, and you're gonna pass that up. What do really? we care about that? Says another one of the cowboys sitting in the corner, smoking a smoking a cigarette. 
We ain't uh, God-fearing men. I also have this boy. <laughs> what <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> sink, sink, sink. He knows how to cook. He knows how to clean. Perhaps Holy, this preacher need... is fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> you gentlemen don't look like you are fatherly figures. Doesn't look like you have a an an, an heir to your legacy. Perhaps uh, an, a surrogate son. Wow. To Wait. carry on your name. Terrifying. Wait, I didn't agree to this. Uh, wow, this gotta... preacher's selling the altar boy. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> His name's Chris. 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 Wait, no. <laughs> no. What's What's going you, on? Gentlemen. Like, does my oh. opinion matter in this? Interesting. Uh, preachers oh. are selling altar boys now, huh? That's exactly that is exactly somehow how I imagined it. Well, I don't know about you lads, but I'm drunk enough. I'll play this game of poker. Not selling, wagering, right? There's wagering. a there's a subtle there's a subtle distinction between that. Wager. Wager. He's Wager. A gambler. Ah, so it's a gamble after all. And, and and in return, if you win, you want us to spread a little rumor? That seems a bit suspicious. What's your game here? You're gonna need to roll Honor. straight talk. Actually, no, you're gonna mm, swindle. Nah, straight talk. Roll straight talk. Oh well. It's a matter of honor when we're the when we're the best players on board, you know, people got to know. So you're going to accept that as the truth. <laughs> All right. You so you rolled you got a 5. All right, you succeeded. Wait, uh, do you have two straight talk or do you have Yeah. <laughs> How much straight talk do you have? He's got zero. He's so zero. got zero. <laughs> Just kidding. You failed. Um, they look at you and they laugh um, and say, nah, you're going to need to do better than that, boy. Going to need to do better than that. Well, play your game, but, you know, not spreading no rumors. Sorry about that. I also have two dollars. Mm -hmm. Oh, two dollars <laughs> is a nice amount of cash. Two dollars? Yeah. yeah, yeah. We'll take two dollars and the boy. Uh, you can have my hat. Uh, I'm like nothing. I'm sick. I'm a I'm a sick boy. I, I mean, have... but if we get you, we get the hat too, don't we? <laughs> yeah, that's right. We do get that hat. Oh, <laughs> uh, I'm going. To... You can keep the boy. I'll keep the hat. Ooh, nice idea. I'm I'm going to die in a week because I have a terminal cancer. Oh. All right. Well, <laughs> Winston, you were never against you know all... <laughs> getting a little extra something on the table for food when there when there ain't no cattle around. Am I right, Winston? <laughs> yeah, you right, Nicholas. That's true. <laughs> uh, Nicholas, he's such a card. Speaking of cards, let's well, play. We just, you. Yeah, we just right. we just can't lose, Calliman. right? Calliman, show him what's what. I will say your cards, they've been put through the ringer. I see you've spilt alcohol on it and some ashy remnants of some cigarettes. My this boy here has a nice fresh deck of cards he'd like to play with. That that wouldn't be a problem now, would it? Fresh deck of cards. <laughs> they kind of look you up and down. The taller one, the taller, darker, more serious one kind of says, why should we play with your cards? We like our cards. Uh, they got... Well, they, no uh, no offense to you fine folks, but I trust my honorable continents, right. continents more than more than, right. more than you You've guys. What if you this, guys have like... Uh, what this if guys, you guys you know are this guy the game is. against us, right? Yeah, you know who this guy is. It's Caliban, the, the most yeah. honorable Caliban. Yeah. All right. He does seem yeah. honorable. Alrighty, we'll play your card game with your cards. Not like it matters too much. All of us are drunk enough anyway, so <laughs> yeah, exactly. you said that right. All right, let you. Let's see. All right, um, hmm, I'm on a losing streak. So how about you play, Floyd? Oh, okay. I, I guess I'll play. Says the more serious one. He looks like he's good at cards. He sits down at the playing table, and um, says, "Give give me your cards. I'm gonna shuffle them." Yep. And the cards over. All right. Shuffles the cards, kind of cuts them a little bit, looks at them for just half a moment, squints a little bit like he's really looking closely to see if there's anything weird about these cards. But, you know, interestingly enough, 
And funnily enough, and thankfully enough, it doesn't seem as though the loaded cards are really tipping him off anyway. So, huh. who sits down to play? It's all you, Cal, man. I'll sit down and play. All right. Let's go. Cookie's turn to play some cards. Now, let's see what we got here for this loaded deck. You have a loaded deck, which gives you a bonus to playing cards. Mm -hmm. Now, the way that you're going to be playing cards here is a bit on the, uh, how shall I say, not so straight and narrow side, you see. Understood. If you feel me. So, you're going to be rolling swindle here to play. Mmm. Now, one moment. I'm looking for my stuff. Where's this? I stuff? do not have swindle, unfortunately. Ruh row. Yeah. You're trying to lie? <laughs> You're trying to lie playing cards here with no swindle? Ruh row. That with might be a bit difficult. With a loaded deck. With a right. loaded deck. This is pretty nice, and it'll give you it'll give you a bonus. It would be such a shame if I were to lose. It sure would be, wouldn't it be? We'd lose Chris just like that. A loaded deck. So plus oh. one oh. dice when cheating at cards. Specifically cheating, which is done in bad faith. Gotta remember. So Understood. You'll get three dice to roll. If you got no swindle, you get three dice to roll. Uh-huh. Um, three dice to roll, but it still mm, has to be... That doesn't seem right, though. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna give you one dice. You roll one, roll one, one d6, and we'll uh -huh. we'll see if it's a success or a failure. You sit down, you shuffle some cards, and you play. Got it. Understood. Now, go ahead and make that roll for me, and let's see how your hand turns out against Floyd here. Understood. You can do it, Caliban. You succeed. Now let's see if Floyd succeeds as well. What the what? fuck? I did a 6d10. I'm sorry. I'm in a world of darkness mode right now. Hold on. <laughs> uh, sorry. Understood. All right. Wow. And he definitely succeeded on that, that one. That is a damn shame. He um, won fair and square, though. Damn. He did, but it doesn't seem... It seems like he wants to play another hand, because you had a pretty good hand, too. Understood. He wants Understood. to play another hand against you, so go ahead and play another hand of poker. Make your roll, sonny boy. Oh, that's a, oh. That's a good hand. All right, it looks like you guys have kind of switched positions at this time. So uh, Floyd's mustache kind of twitches a bit, and he says, this is a real interesting game of poker. You seem mm. like an honorable man. I'm sure you aren't cheating or anything, right? Perish the thought. Perish the thought. Perish the thought. Are you sure about that? Yes, best sir. out of three. How about that? Best out of three for all the beans. The best out of three situation. For all the beans. Not bad, not bad. All right. You got down, yourself partner. a game, partner. Let's go. It looks like it looks like when all is said and done and all the chips are down and the cards are out, the winner of this poker battle is the one and only most honorable Cookie Caliban. The rest of the Cowboys hoot and holler, Woo-wee, Floyd, you got schooled, by God. They take a big swing. That was swing a hell here. of a match, Floyd. You did it. That was Caliban. a hell of a match. Very nice. Nice. His job, mustache twitches. Man. He says, uh kind of rubs his eyes. What was it you you folks wanted again? To, to spread our reputation as gamblers that are have much to offer. Of high repute with mm -hmm. much to offer. High repute? He raises an eyebrow. What is your game, if I may ask? Just looking to play some poker. We heard and there wager. is a high stakes poker game and we want to get in there. Uh -huh. And we unfortunately do not have a middling ante, we only have the ante, and we're not going to be wagering it in a middle sticks game if you catch my drift. And then I'll show, up, show off the Bagliacci. Right? <gasps> Whoa! Wow! This Eef. will be our ante in to the best game on this train, and not not, not, not the second-rate game, not the third-rate game, the number one game on this train. 
Winston's eyes get real wide and he says, oh, you're trying to enter Crosby's game, are you now? Lots of high yes, rollers sir. that are in that Oliver one. Crosby himself. Yes, sir. That's pretty crazy. You know, they got a bunch of really high rolling players at that table with tons of treasure, so expect security to be real high. Yes, sir. Now, you might need to make yourself look like a proper gentleman, don't you think? What do you think, Nick? Uh, yeah, they're probably gonna need a little help. <laughs> These guys look like right rap scallions. <laughs> oh, what, hold on here. What, what exactly are we missing on our persons? Well, you don't look the part, that's for sure. You look worse than us. <laughs> well, how are we supposed to look the part then? I feel like Nick might be able to give us like uh, one of them. What, what, what are they called again? What are they called again? Uh, one of them makeovers, right? Makeover. <laughs> You're going to need some new duds. Help us out, partner. Help us out, partner. <laughs> Uh, you'll definitely need some new duds, but you know what you probably can find around here is, uh, I don't know exactly where it is, but if you did end up in the cargo freight somehow, yeah, you could probably pick up nice disguise if you could uh, open up some of the luggage without getting caught, but even that area is pretty guarded, so good luck to you, sir. We don't have any good clothes. Hmm. All right, gentlemen. Interesting. Well, well, thank you Appreciate for your help. time. Yeah, I, uh, we'll spread your little rumor, says Floyd. Much appreciated. Much, much appreciated. appreciated. Yeah. We'll Where is that to... luggage train, if you don't mind my asking? Well. Luggage, luggage, luggage cart. It's actually right at the way, way, way back of the train. I knew it. Yep. Everyone's I luggage is together. The peasants, poor, rich, depraved, all in the same place. But, you know, the conductor is the one that kind of unloads it for people, so. Yeah, good All luck right, though. Gentlemen. They got that Thank conductor. You. He's real. He's real feisty. Walking in between all the cars, you're gonna want to have to make a quick job of it, or else you're gonna be in big trouble. Yeah, they're gonna get in so much trouble. Ah, they better be fast. See about that. Thank you for your time. We'll be. Uh... We'll be back. We'll be yeah. Back. Floyd stands up. He does. says, "I'll go spread your rumor," and then after that, I want nothing to do with y'all. We don't know each right. other. We are strangers. Deal? Understood, Floyd. Thank Deal. you very much. All right. Deal. Finger right. guns. All right. Chris, Chris, listen to me. <laughs> kneel down, Chris. You know that I would never, ever put you at risk, right? That was I. I knew the outcome. You know that, right? Floyd boy? leans down I'm, and I'm... looks at Chris and says, "Do you need help, son?" Uh, no. You know, I'm kind of used to it by now. But thank you for the concern, sir. Strokes uh, mustache. It's my life. All right, then. Walks away. All right. Here's we, my plan. That boy, you're right. This is what we do, Posse. Understood. We go back to the previous car. Okay. Where there's ain't nobody. Ain't nobody okay. around. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. That conductor's back where we came from. You gotta get past that fella. Yeah. Back to the back car the luggage here's what i'm thinking since there's no one here we hide under the under the seats on each side hmm we have chris here yell at the top of his lungs help me please help why am i the help! <laughs> maybe we could use that to clear out the luggage cart because it feels it feels yeah, like they'll come, they'll come rushing by but when they get here, they'll see nothing. Well, there can't be a boy in danger in this cart. There's nothing. It's just an empty current. So they'll zoom by, and then we'll slip behind them. Huh. What I feel like the people. I feel like the people that are guarding the luggage cart will stay there, though, because it's like five cars down, right? We could kill them. They're in the back. Who's you guys back haven't there? explored the rest of the train, have you? True. Mm. True. We should just we should just uh, go yeah, back there. Check I, it I out. I feel like it's too early to kill people. We we we're not gonna kill people. You kinda told me that before. Just killed be Billy back. There. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> he's just resting. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go check out the other cars. Okay. Fair enough. All right. So you guys head backwards. Um, out of the out of the cowboy cart. Also, we have cart. tickets. We, we have, like, we can yeah. be there. We have oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why it's don't just... we just say, hey, we got to get something out of our luggage? Yeah, yeah. But the we're problem peasants. Is... Oh, 
But I mean, what? Peasants can't have luggage? <laughs> also, the people that gave us these three tickets probably had luggage on the train right, already. Right, we just say, sir. Which is now our luggage. Can you bring me the luggage that this ticket was? If I do remember, the people lined up were described as somewhat posh. Nah, guys. they were all cowboys. Only the cowboys gave you their tickets. Ah, the posh people ran away. Yeah. Understood. Well, we have tickets. We can get back there. We don't need to, like, dist like, it's just... It's our private in, affairs. In the luggage cart, we're going to need to figure something out. Because there's probably people play, keeping watch. Play it by year. Yeah, let's, let's just get, let's year. go back to the go luggage over. cart. Just, just see what's, let's see what... Pick a peep. Yeah. Pick a gander. You guys yeah. walk out of the cowboy cart into the empty cart, and then the cart behind that was the one where you guys started off. The plain peasant cart. Mm -hmm. um, behind that cart as well is a cart full of people. Hey. Different people. You want to go keep... to the next one? Let's just keep moving. Yeah, we'll keep moving. Right. Don't mind us, everyone. All right. You got another empty cart. Another empty cart. Interesting. <sighs> Interesting. Can we peek into the next cart? You attempt to peek into the next cart, but it looks like there are shutters over the window. Mmm. Perhaps this is what we are looking for? You want to uh, check? I could try opening the door, maybe uh, because I'm a kid, they'll be less suspicious. I'll, I'll give the door a jiggle, see if it opens. You give the door a jiggle, and it actually does open. Oh, okay. Opens, and peer in. What do we you got here? You open it up, and you see a bunch of trunks of luggage that belongs to people you don't know. Mm. Are there any people back here? No, no one that you can see. Coast seems to be clear, gentlemen. Hop on in. Let's go see. Let's go see what we got in here. Oh, maybe we should have someone keep and watch. I don't know. Ooh, okay. All right. You know what? Chris? I'll keep watch. You'll no, keep no, watch? No, no, no. I, okay. Chris, Chris deserves a little bit of a, you know, a little break. I think. Got it. We, I, you know, I, we've had him do too much. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, There's just emotional trauma. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Poor boy. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Thanks to a certain someone, but thank you. Yeah. Cow, yeah, man. All right. You guys go <laughs> ahead. I'll, I'll keep watch. Okay. Well, I would like to squint and make sure there ain't nobody in this baggage car. All righty. Before... Roll squint. Roll a little squint here. All righty. So you you roll squint, and there's nobody in here. There's not a I'm... not a soul. Okay. Let's uh let's make I'm it quick then. Soul. Chris, let's go. Let's go do a little bit of looting. Make, make sure to get something for me too. Looting, scooting. Yeah, we need outfits and uh any any treasure perhaps. Any uh, money. Yes, yes. I'm uh, let's go. Uh, I'm let's like go. A, I'm like a thirty waist, but like. Run a little long, so you can find something. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah. Something yeah. that'll fit me. Yeah, yeah. Make sure the colors match. I don't want to be clashing here. <laughs> Go up to the poker tournament. Dusky blue. <laughs> Got the dusky Loot blue hat. Loot, Loot, Something, scoot, something in dusky blue. Understood. Understood. Okay. I'll. Cookie will will mosey on over into the slink into the l luggage cabin and just look around. All right. You slink into the luggage cabin, Cookie and uh and Chris. You go as well. Yeah. All right, you guys slink inside. Leave the leave the old old reverend father saint, saint. waiting outside <laughs> waiting outside of the luggage cart, kind of keeping guard, you know, just in case anybody is uh hustling around. And you guys begin to wrestle through um the the items in the bag there, a couple you know luggage crates and whatnot. Looking um, specifically for a higher end like piece of luggage, right? Like, oh, I'm sure you could tell. Something kind of fancy, right? On the like fancier beat, side. Beating up luggage mm. trunks or like good good quality luggage trunks would like. Gotcha, gotcha. I'm actually going to have you go ahead and roll. Um, I want you to roll your class. Roll class. class. Oh, boy. I ain't got no class. All right, well, <laughs> then you know the drill. <laughs> A three. Damn! What a shame. Uh, you find something regular, but you know you don't really know if you'd call it classy. Well, uh, let's just pop this sucker open and see what we, what we got inside. Dang old, dang old, boom. 
There's Do you think a... I can also roll yeah, for Yeah, go class? for it. You can roll for class to perceive something. Okie dokie. Something classy. Two's probably better than one. Uh, you Ooh. also cannot really discern anything classy okay. at all. It's really just, you know, regular old cowpoke clothing here. You guys here. doing okay back there? Uh, everything's good. Everything's under all control. Right. You keep opening up cases. Um, I'll allow you guys to roll class again if you would like. However, mm. you do realize something that you did not exactly perceive in the first place, uh, Cookie. There are no people here in this card. However, there is a living soul. There's a dog uh -oh. in a crate. A dog in a crate? Yeah. He sees you and he starts to bark. What tarnations? What's going on back there? I would like to feed the dog some rattlesnake meat. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, you, okay, let's see. That's, hey, that, that works. Um, in order to kind of um, calm this very uh, agitated dog. Um, I'm just, yeah. I'm gonna need you to. Ha I'm gonna need you to roll survive. Understood. I have one point in survival. All right, one d six. Handiwork. Okay. Oh, survival. Oh, survival. So bad. Yeah. Ah, uh, goddamn! All right, you attempt to feed rattlesnake meat to the dog, who begins to wile out even further after tasting the disgusting meat of the rattlesnake. It's delicious. Ah, uh, he doesn't like venom. it. Can I consider shooting this dog? Or hey, call Jesus that dog Christ! <laughs> call that dog. Someone's gonna come over here. It's a it's poodle. A lot of ruckus. It's a poodle. Yeah, it's a very cute poodle. Do you think I'll be traumatized if I shoot an animal? You're gonna I'm gonna now? make you traumatize. <laughs> <laughs> you can hear us from outside. No. <laughs> Chris, just don't do it. Just, just considering. Just I, draw the, <laughs> I draw the line. The door opens. I draw the line. At any of Human God's murder, okay. Dog, beautiful no. Creatures. Uh, the door opens to the car that you are kind of holding, standing guard in. Oh. Um, Saint, uh, Saint Clappington, and it's the sheriff. <laughs> sheriff Morrison what moves are you doing? on I'm over to you. What are you- I'm changing what in here, you? Sheriff! Oh! What are you- Oh, pardon me! She shields her eyes a little bit. I'm sorry, I- Look, this really isn't the kind of train where you should be changing outfits, oh, though. Well, My I just, lord! I, oh, I just- I just noticed that no one was in here, and I- Please, we, we, I, I- I'm all- I'm all na naked and-, and just, just give- just afford me some time to get my-, my myself right! Roll straight talk. You could just- Actually, it's a lie. Roll for... swindle. Roll, roll, swindle. You could just turn around for me and, uh... I'm just gonna roll swindle really quick. All right, you succeed in convincing the sheriff. I mean, she she doesn't want to see that. She's like, all right, I'll, I'll get out of your hair, but make it quick. Gosh, I'm trying to do my routine checks. A dog's barking? I don't know what's going on over there. I'm, I'll be right back. She leaves the cart, but you know she'll be back soon. Oh, Go ahead and roll hurry. class, you two. Yeah, we should hurry. Oh my freaking Boys, god. Please. Get the clothes. Freaking please. Ah! Oh, Alright, uh, I still can't find anything classy. Go ahead and roll, mean, Chris. Chris. Okay. Oh, Very close, three. um, but you still can't find anything uh, worth. The dog is freaking out. I'm gonna afford you one more chance because the sheriff is knocking on the door again saying, Are you decent now? Clappington, you decent? Oh, just mind me a couple more minutes. This garter belt's real complicated, buckles and whatnot. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> you know how it is. <laughs> she says, oh, oh, all right. Uh, all right, one more, and we have to, like, leave and get out, right? Yeah. Yeah, we have okay. to get out soon. All right, rolling one more. Oh, my God, so bad. <gasps> <gasps> At the last minute, the very last stroke of 12, as, oh. uh, as all else is about to fail, Chris, you managed to find a case that belongs to um a real high roller, you assume. In fact, you'd be surprised if this case didn't belong to uh, to Oliver Crosby himself. Um, a fancy looking uh, get up, kind of akin to a tux almost. Um, 
There are a couple, actually. A couple in different colors. Um, you don't think it belongs to him, though. That would be bad. He would definitely recognize that. Um, a couple nice-looking suits. Re regular, regular old suits that would belong to someone bougie. Um, one of them is definitely... The, the two of them will definitely fit. Um, the, you know, Clappington and, uh, and, uh, Cookie, but, Cookie. uh, other one's gonna be a bit big on you, Chris. That's, that's fine. a little big. Needs a tailor tribe. Yeah. I'll, I'll live with it, but, oh man, jackpot, okay, time to, time to get out of here. Nice eyes, Chris, for the classy. Good job, Chris. Thank you. All right. Thank you. you escape Ooh. into the main... Uh, main cart just in time for the sheriff to say all right. That's enough. I don't care if you're wearing garter belts I don't care if you're half naked. I have to see what's going on in there She opens the door and um, And sees you guys standing there with some clothes Hello? What is uh yeah. what's going on here? Uh, I, I was lost we lost our boy and Now I found them yeah, he happy. ran off. What were, yeah. you, what were you doing back there? Oh, he just, he heard a dog bark and he just loves dogs, this little guy right here. Oh yeah, yeah. it was a little poodle. It was super adorable. I want to feed him bullets of love. <laughs> but, yeah. Jesus. Roll, roll straight talk. Do you wish to help, Chris? <laughs> <laughs> roll straight talk. I, I can help. I can assist. All right, add, what's no. your straight talk dice pool? One, I have one. All right, so add one to your dice pool, um, Sir Clappington. Okay, so that's three, right? Yeah, do you want to help, uh, Chris? Yes. All right, what's your straight talk? Zero. Zero. You cannot help, all right, go, yeah. ahead, and, <laughs> go ahead and make your roll, Des. Um, how many straight talk do you have in the first place? Zero. All right, then you're fucked. All right, so um, the sheriff doesn't uh, believe you. Um, sheriff kind of says, um, that looks a little suspicious. Do you guys own those clothes? You guys don't look like you've got a lot of money. Sorry, if you don't mind me saying, that's a bit rude of me. Sorry about that. I'm, a, I'm known to be a bit blunt. Um, oh, but, uh, we get that a lot, you know. Yeah, my mom, my stepmom is in another cart. Why is this straight talk if it's lying? Because I consider this persuasion. It's more persuasion than lying to me. <laughs> uh, yeah, can I roll for persuasion? Yeah, well, persuasion is, is straight talk. Straight talk, okay. Can I roll for that, baby? Yeah. Okay. Uh. All right, uh, is your straight talk zero? <laughs> Yeah. God damn. Now oh, the sheriff's really not believing this here this here uh story from you guys. And she says, "I'm going to go check the I'm going to go check the cart behind you guys, you folks, if you, if you don't mind me. Just uh, excuse me and don't go anywhere, please. Just stay right there." Understood. Please please do not move. Let me just go check out what the hell is going on in here. She opens up the the door. Says, "What in the Sam hell?" She walks in, closes the door behind her and begins looking around. Can we lock the door? Let's run. Let's run. This is what we do, Chris. We run. We run. What All if? Right. What if she chases after us? This is what you're gonna do, Chris. You listen oh, to me. Oh, you listen God. to me. Good. Right in here. Oh, okay. Here we go again. You're gonna be very. This is. I need you. I need you to be useful for once, Chris. Okay. <laughs> I've been useful so many times. What are you okay. talking Did about? Did I say you weren't useful? I just said that I need you to be useful once. This one time. I didn't say nothing about previous usefulness, okay? This is, God. this is, I need you to be useful for this one time right here. Are you sure you're okay? a snake? Because you're what more I, like a scam what artist. we're going to do. <laughs> okay. We're going to step out. And I want you to shoot this cart off the train. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. Do you think you could do that? I'm only ten, but okay. You have, you do <laughs> have the sledgehammer. You do Chris. have the sledgehammer. You do have the sledgehammer. I, I do, I do. Quick, while she's ruffling through the luggage, this is our chance. Okay. Uh. Uh. Well, we we make a run for it. I stay behind and. No, I... no, you gotta come with us and shoot oh, behind shoot. you. Okay. Oh lordy. Okay. Well, oh lordy. Uh, 
we're gonna we're gonna make a run for it. I'm going to shoot the cart off. The link, right? Make a break the for link. it. Go. All right, with your sledgehammer gun, that's an automatic. You are able to do it. Oh, um, it's automatic. Okay. Yep. You shoot it off, and the cart unhitches and is left in the dust, off in the distance. It falls <laughs> away into the dusty abyss, and you now owe a debt to the sheriff. Mm, we'll deal with debt. that later. <laughs> we'll deal with that later. You well, owe a debt to our, the sheriff. Let's take our new duds up, see what else is in that suitcase, right? There might be money, there might be something else, but take it up to the to that empty room and change. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, this this cart is empty, thankfully, so. Now, now oh. the last cart on the train. Well, we changed it. Yeah. Do you mm -hmm. think she's dead? <laughs> oh, she's got that no. dog. She's fine. She's definitely not dead. Think you, you killed someone? No, no. Well, if you think about it, if you're out in the Wild West, the safest place to be is train tracks, because you know someone's going to show up sooner yeah, or later. Yeah, the next train's going to come and have to stop. And yeah, because there's be like trains fine. on train. Yeah, she'll be fine. Don't worry about it, Chris. Okay. You don't, you don't okay. worry about that. She seems tenacious. That's right. Now, what you can do, by the way, um, with your debt to the sheriff later on, you can turn it into a reputation if you don't pay it back. You'll be known to everyone as the person that crossed the sheriff. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. but uh. that's that's for later. That's for later on. Um, anyway, you guys go ahead and root, ruffle through the uh, the luggage that you did manage to grab, the crate that you had there. Um, it is full of nice suits. It seems that you picked the crate that is uh, full of nice... Nice looking, fairly well tailored. You know, there's uh, some really intricate embroidery, and uh, the cufflinks are pristine, and they look like they belong to somebody with money. Someone real rich. Yeah. I'll put on, I'll put on the the suit that looks like it fits me the best. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yours fits pretty well. A nice crimson. Oh. Nice crimson suit. Um. There's also a dusky blue one. <laughs> For, for St. Clappington. Chris, I think that blue one would look real good on you. What do you think? Uh, you know, I feel like it would go along with your hat really well, and I think you wanted you it to that? be color matching because of okay. your baby Maybe blue you, you hat. You know what? I'll take your word for it. I'll put it on. And yeah. um, the slightly big one that you're going to wear, Chris, is jet black like your hat. It is a oh, bit too big for you, but, you know. That, that is fine. It's, it's it's awesome. It's it's jet black. It's awesome. It's beautiful. You look like an I adult. Like I look like I feel like an adult. <laughs> I feel like I'm really part of the gang now. <laughs> Instead of Taylor being held the hostage. next town. Literally split. Don't worry about it. Yeah. 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 All right. I think I think we looked apart now. Why don't we make our way to the high stake table? Yeah. Yeah. See if our reputation precedes us. Yeah. All right. So as you guys kind of travel through the cars all the way up to the front, you see some of the folks that had seen you before are kind of raising an eyebrow. Uh, some of them seem to believe that they were wrong about you the whole time and kind of gasp and awe. They're like, oh, wow, you hear some whispers saying, hey, weren't those guys the cowboys from before? Yeah, why do they look so nice? I don't get it. Maybe they were real high stakes rollers. Were they wearing disguises before? Why would they wear disguises to fit in with the other cowboys? Gosh darn it, hell if I know. You guys walk through all the carts and they gradually, slowly, but surely begin to get nicer and nicer. There's even a bar cart that you pass along. Um, and the barkeep oh. seems interested in you guys and kind of looks over at you while washing a glass and says, Y'all headed over to Crosby's game? Yes, sir. Could you yes, tell? Sir. Well, yeah, I heard that there were some real high rollers on this train getting ready to mm -hmm. to play some poker up there. Would that be y'all? That'd be this trio right here before me, before my eyes. You heard right. That is us. Fancy a drink? I'm parched. Now that you say. All right. This, uh, this is on the house. I heard this is on the. <laughs> Is that right? Like you can't afford it, am I right, sir? <laughs> no, no, no. I just that's. You know, I just thought this was, uh, you know, part of the uh, accommodations for uh, the poker players, no? Oh, I couldn't make any money that way. But I 
understand if you don't want to have a little drink before a, a big poker game. I mean, when we, win, when we win big, we'll give you a part of the, part of the money to you. Double. You know, double the usual price. Whoa, whoa, hold Leans on. Leans over the bar. Is that a deal, little feller? Are you trying to make a deal with me, little feller? Yeah, you know, maybe, um... You're a cute you one. Know, Boops your nose. Uh, hey. <laughs> hey, I'm an adult. You're a cute one. I'm an adult. I won't stand for this kind of treatment. <laughs> I'll be back once we've won big, and we'll all get drinks. How about that? <laughs> Sounds like a plan, slaps his own knee. Go right on ahead. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, you guys move to the next train cart, and it looks a bit fancier, but it doesn't look like the fancy cart. No, 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 no. See, there are much more regular-looking folk here, slightly posh, but not exactly high, high fashion, high prestige uh, guests. Um, instead, they're just regular folk, and at the end of the car, you see someone waiting right in front of the door. Thankfully, mm -hmm. it's not someone you've seen before. It's not a conductor. Okay. It just looks to be some sort of fancy man in a in a nice suit, a nice black tailored suit. Um, he looks like he's not from around here, um, but uh, standing in front of the door, waiting from what seems to be the very high high class carts that are before you, mm. a bouncer of sorts, precisely. Understood. Mm. Well, we could put our reputation to the test before before we go in there. Oh, I, I would like to, I would like to slide the loaded deck over to, to Saint Clappington. Be like, maybe you should handle this one. All right, Saint. I'll take the deck. Let's see if our reputation has preceded us as we had planned and approached this gentleman. Indeed. Let's see what he thinks about us. We we are wearing very fancy suits. We're we're fancier than the people in this current cart. So definitely, we should be moving forward. At Hello, least. sir. As you can tell, we are much fancier than the rest of these <laughs> rift <-raff. laughs> I believe we are due to uh, pass. Don't you agree? He eyes you. Can I have your name? Uh, Mr. <laughs> Matthew. Matthew. Uh, let's see, Mr. Matthew, um, oh, I'm quite sorry, my good man, it, it doesn't appear you're on the list. Mm, try my other name, Matt. Your Matt. Name? Uh, let's see, Matt. Um, I'm quite sorry, it doesn't, it doesn't appear that there is a Matt on the list either. Right then, I, uh, perhaps it's a regional thing, try Matthew? Might be spelt different. I, I already I'm I just from. tried Matthew. Oh. Matthew with an accent, maybe. I mm. ex excuse me. Is is that a backhanded <laughs> comment about the way that I'm talking? Do you have oh, a problem no. with my accent? No, no. I'm I'm sorry for interrupting. Sorry, I'm oh, just. A little you kid. Americans really oh. ought to learn to hold oh, your don't tongue. Don't mind him. He's just a little boy whoa, here. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Who said I'm American? I'm Italian. It's Italian. Oh, do you really speak Italian? Look at him. Bonjourno. And uh, the the British man before you starts speaking fluent Italian. Son of a bitch. <laughs> he awaits oh. your response. Do the do the gesture too. <laughs> Just. It's like, all right, I'll look, I'll level with you, feller. I'm I am one fourth Italian on my mother's side. Oh. We we hail from the Pagliacci clan. Oh, but the yes, Pagliacci I I clan. I am Italian, yeah. It's been a long time since I've heard that name. The, that family is most honorable, I, I will say, but I'm so sorry, Indeed. my good man. It just doesn't appear that you're on the list. I, I did some hear sort of... something about your group. Yes, there Perhaps... must be some sort of misunderstanding. Look at us. A mistake. I may need to go check with, uh, with, um... Mr. Crosby. Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on. You wouldn't want to listen. I know Mr. Crosby personally. He would be furious. Furious if you denied his friends out here. Now, let me ask you this. If we really weren't meant to be in Mr. Crosby's company, don't you think we would deal with the consequences very shortly upon entering this cart here? We have nothing to hide. Look, this is just a kid. 
What harm could come? Surely. Uh, you do make a good point. Um, Look into my little hat. Uh, well, all right. Uh, let's see. I'm going to have you guys roll swindle this time, but with a plus two. Plus two oh. dice to your pool. Because of your reputation and the rumor that you spread before. Oh. So go ahead and add two dice to your pool. Who wants to roll swindle? I'm assuming it's Ooh. Clappington. Clappington, get in there. Roll. All right, Clappington, make that roll. All right. Well, that's a Six. good gosh darn success. Nice. Uh, well, you do look very prestigious, and uh, I don't want mm -hmm. to get in trouble with, uh, with Mr. Crosby if you really are right. his friends. Right. Such mistakes have been made in the past, and I'd prefer to keep them in the past. So, uh, I suppose that I will let you in for a moment, but I might be expecting you to return outward should anything of strange course. happen. Of course, of course, of course. <sighs> All right, go right ahead. It's not the next card, but it's the following card where the game is taking place. Please, please do try to keep keep your hands to yourselves, and don't don't get me into any trouble, or oh, there will be hell to pay. And I mean that. Perish the thought, perish the All right, get get in there, get in there, you crazy Americans. Okay, thank you. okay let's get in there. Okay. Waddling over here. You guys go ahead and finally make your way inside of what... Wow, that's amazing. It's a very royal and fancy cart. Oh. <gasps> the royal cart of the train is much, much nicer than the peasant cart. There's carpet. There are curtains on the wall, couches, a bar. It's very oh, fancy. Oh. By God, is that electricity? There are lamps in here. Gotta... All right. Kind of want to take the uh, carpet later. <laughs> yeah. Take the carpet. There's, there's a bar there too that I got my eye on. But how are we gonna run this con, boys? Like, how are we gonna? What, what, right. what are we doing once? Because well. now we are at the game. We need to. How, fit, I mean, I'm guessing we're gonna use the uh, the Pagliacci as our collateral. I don't want to just use a game of chance. Like, what do we do when we buy in? Like, how are we gonna win it? Well. How about we do this? I will take the loaded deck. Okay. I will participate. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And smooth talk uh -huh. the competitors here. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, you can uh, search around while they are distracted, of course. Of course. You can't mm -hmm. squint and see if you can find some sort of hints to where the treasure may be. Uh huh. And you know, it's at times like this that I think, you know, what would Chris Evans do? And I think she would <laughs> take it one <laughs> step at a time. No oh! exit plan. Oh! Huh? I'm here to play some poker. Oh my god. This is not gonna uh, end well. Yeah. Have you entered the room? Mm -hmm. You guys walk through the fancy cart and open up the door to the poker game. And you introduce yourself in a grand gesture. And you see... And you see some players that are right in the middle of their own game kind of turn around to look at you uh, with raised eyebrows. You see that there are four people playing at the table and two guards with their hands kind of folded sitting in the corner of the cart. There's about two guards, one for each corner, sitting and watching, and then the four players. Uh, and they all just kind of stare at you. Gentlemen, don't tell me you've started without me. <laughs> um, one of the men pipes up and says, Um, <clears throat> I'm sorry, who are you? Oh, you know. Matthews, you have not heard of our escapades? Carts prior, perhaps? One Here of the other play players poker. looks at the guy that just spoke and says, Who is this? I, I thought that there, there was only meant to be... There was only meant to be f six people playing the game. Why is he Why is he here so late? Why you allow him to enter? That's not fair. We were in the middle of our game. The other we man says, I'm quiet. Until the next round. Quiet, quiet, quiet. Next quiet. Round. I don't know yeah. who these people are. And at that, the guards stand up. Oh, whoa, hold on. This seems to be a misunderstanding. Look, I We're am here to willing buy in. to uh, 
buy mm -hmm. into this game. Like, what does it matter? You are all businessmen. What does it matter who I am, where I'm from, as long Excuse as I have Excuse me, the I am a businesswoman. And a business says one of the ladies. Here. That's a lot of cash. Just cash, am I right? We have offers. We have things to put into the pot. Like Cookie. this. Yeah. Cookie Caliban will unholster the Pagliacci. And then, like, very carefully, you know, like, showing that, like, he's not going to use it. He's, like, holding it up. Oh. Everybody kind of looks at the gun. They stop for a minute to look at it because it's a nice gun. Yeah. Uh, and then the woman chuckles and says, <laughs> I'm so sorry, sweetheart, but that's not exactly how it works. You can't just buy your way into any game. You have to be important. Oh, well, who's more important than... The... God. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm a holy man. I, like, pull my shirt collar, and they see my little, like, I don't know what it's called, a little white square on my collar. Eh? Well, what so if I'm not a God-fearing woman? Doesn't seem um, to be... Doesn't seem to be a lot of God-fearing people in the West. <laughs> kind of kind of crazy. <laughs> Figure being near death and... Death and danger, yeah. you oh, get I'm people who are more joking. super... I am a God-fearing woman. I'm just, uh... I'm just messing around with you. No. My well, name is Ruby. Nice to oh, meet Rudy. you. Nice Handsome lads. You. Why is Pleasure there a child here, though? Does one of y'all oh. have a son? I I'm an assistant. Right? Yes, <laughs> I'm an assistant. And I'll have you know that Sir Matthew is, uh, is loaded. He has a property. Uh, and he collects money from... God loving people, amen. 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 All right, all right. Th that, that's enough, says the man at the head of the table. All right, Ruby, you've had your fun, but I don't know these people. And I don't know if I feel like playing poker with some folks that just kind of moseyed their way up here and used swindling and, and, lie and lies to get up here into my, into my card, my private card. This is for me and my friends, and you are certainly not friends. Well, let's not be so hasty here. I Friends are what? They're, they're, they're people. They're friends when you meet them, <laughs> right? Where does a friend come from? There's they gotta be not your friend initially. <laughs> There's a, a large rugged man as well sitting at the table amongst all of them. There's whoa, a, whoa, whoa, whoa. And, uh, and he raises his eyebrows and said, and says, you want to be friends with me? Whoa, whoa, buddy, pal. I'll be friends with you. Listen, I lean in. There's two dollars in this one. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll be damned. This guy says he has two dollars for the pot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I didn't say nothing of the sort. I didn't say nothing what of the sort. What on earth are you on about? Listen, you guys are going to need to roll a pretty... Yeah. A pretty good swindle roll, because this is pretty much bad faith. I'd say that this is more lying than persuasion, so roll swindle. And go ahead and add that bonus from before. Oh. The reputation bonus. But do it at do it only one. Do only one extra dice. Because these guys are a little harder to fool. Gentlemen and gentlewoman, please. Alright, I mean that's a success. You succeed at convincing them, and they all kind of calm down a little bit, and the man at the head of the table, who you can only assume is Oliver Crosby, kind of motions for the guards to sit down, like, all right, all right, boys. Sit down for a moment. I'll entertain these strange cowboys that are dressed very nicely for just a moment. All righty. Well, we have a couple seats at the table. That uh, child there is going to have to stand in the corner, though. That's all right. All right, go, go ahead. Over there. I'll sit in the corner. Oh. Okay. I assume you no, know who I am. Yes. Oliver Crosby? Yeah. You fought really hard to get into my poker game, so I can only assume that you would do me the courtesy of knowing who the hell I am, so I'm glad to hear you know oh, that uh, much. Of course, of course. Of course, of course Mr. Crosby. Additionally, we have here my foreign friend, Seth O'Gormand, the Copper King. That's his American name, though. I don't know his real name. And nice to meet you. I am a Seth. 
Oh, wow. No. I am the cop. E I am the king of the copper. The copper trade is all it's mine here in America. Mm. I don't trust any of you motherfuckers. So, uh, I don't really want to play with you, but I guess I have to for my friend. So, I play one game with you, and then I am out of here. Well, Mr. Gormond, it's uh, it's only fair that you think that way. I enjoy copper very much myself. I use copper in all sorts of things, like wires or various other appliances that I may have. So I thank you for your hard work. I look forward to this game we're about to play. Uh, he kind of mumbles a little bit. The next the next one is the very large man kind of leaning back in his chair. Very old, very gruff guy. He says, the name's Barclay Franz. They know me as the Jack of Jewels. Once upon a time, I was a bounty hunter, believe it or not. But these days, these days I'm in the mining industry, and I've made a Bounty quick hunter. fortune off, off of my jewels. I'm sorry, what was that? Nothing. Bounty hunter. Interesting. I did a little bit of bounty hunting back in the day. What's Mr. it to Clay. you? You just nothing, really. You just seem to party huh. or an intimidating fellow. He I think it's super a little cool, bit. Chris Shout. You be quiet over there. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Slumpstead. Before before Barclay can continue speaking, um, the woman from before kind of kind of wedges her way in there. She's a lady, probably in her late thirties, but she's very well made up. Very nice hair, beautiful dress, Ooh. lots of makeup mm -hmm. on her face. She doesn't look too old, but you can tell that she's one of those ladies that uh, is kind of trying to hide her age, trying to relive her days of youth. My name is Ruby Applegate. They call me the Dame of Diamonds. Why would that be? Well, it's because I am at the top of the diamond industry. Not that no good husband of mine, by the way. No matter what anybody says, I did not steal anything from my ex-husband. No, no, no. All of it's mine. I built my empire all by myself. He was such a gold digger, I had to get rid of him. But anyway, I'm single. All this to say I am unaccounted for, so... Well, Miss Ruby, that's good to know. Good to know. I uh, pleasure to meet your acquaintance. You, you seem like a a, a, a diamond woman. I do so why, why does she sound like your a mom? Real Shut up, peach. <laughs> a real peach. A yeah, southern, a so real southern know. belle. Mm. Just so you know, my acquaintance over here is also single. <laughs> Ain't that right? Yes, sir. <laughs> oh. Uh, you hear that? Me too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, aren't you just the sweetest thing? <laughs> she boops you on the nose. <laughs> oh, what a cute, what a cute little child. Is he one of yours? I don't have any children to speak of, but just out of curiosity. Oh. Yeah. Uh. That kid. <laughs> yeah, you know. He's a handful. He's you don't uh... strike me as the fatherly type. No, no, no. In one way, maybe. But uh, that kid is. Uh... Oh, you ready know, anytime. One of those, one of those train kids. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm Find not sure I follow. Every well, every train's got a kid. There's always a kid on a train. You know what I mean? All right. That's a train kid. Right? Is this right. okay, Miss Ruby? Don't listen to us. It. Just that you know, I'm I'm also ready anytime. Hmm. I see. Well, stay in the corner and be a good kid while the adults play poker. All right. Yes, ma'am. All right. Do you need something to drink, my dear? Do you need some like a, a water or some milk or? We'll I'd like a some glass milk. of milk. <laughs> All right. No, don't do that. He's lactose intolerant. He's oh. Doesn't know what it is yet because he's well, a kid. <laughs> Upsets his stomach. Don't get him. I'm getting milk. mixed messages here. Can we just play a game then? In that case. Mm -hmm. Any up. All right. Go ahead and sit down then. Yes. Go ahead and take a take a little seat over here. I'm assuming both of y'all are playing, yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go ahead and take a seat. Now, what's your wager? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I have 
Tell him. <laughs> All right, hold on. I'll let you get your wits about you. What What are you What are you going in for, Ruby? Um, let's see. Well, I've already put in about mm, fifty diamonds. Fifty of my nicest are gonna go ahead and put those in the pot. How about you, Barclay? Uh, let's see. I got a couple rubies and emeralds. <laughs> Bet you want those rubies, don't you, Ruby? Oh, that. Oh, wow. That's not very good charming. That's that's a good weird. That is a weird no, no, thing no, to say. No, no, very charming. That was a good one. I, I hope friend. that you guys have a better sense of humor than this big oaf does. Oh, you know it. You know it. See my hat. Oh, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's a bit small, wouldn't you say? Oh, I wouldn't say at all. It's it really is. Now that you've it's mentioned all about it, perspective. That is a really small hat. <laughs> hey, How do you get around my... with that thing? <laughs> oh, don't. Hey, don't listen to them, man. Don't be making fun of my acquaintance's hat like that. <laughs> I'm. S <laughs> I do declare you are quite I, the funny one. I have a wager. What are you Two putting in? Whole dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone breaks out into laughter. Oh, that—that that is very sweet. Oh, he's a funny one. I like this guy. <laughs> what no, you really no, no, put no, no. in? Caliban will put the Pagliacci onto the table. <gasps> just take his hand away. Whoa! Oh, it's a Pagliacci gun. I see this. I know <laughs> this one. I seen it before. This gun. It's a big gun. It's a bigger legacy gun. That's my great grand uncle! Finally, someone knows! Wow, Put it there, it's partner. a family of so much a repute, so honorable family. Uh -huh. Put it there, partner, and he'll try to shake hands with the Copper King. Oh, no, I, I don't do that with you. I don't really know you, plus you look a little smelly. Oh, but uh, but yes, uh, many blessings upon your family or uh, whatever. Just uh, put, put your hand away. Put your hand away. <laughs> he puts his hand away. <laughs> anyway, uh, I I don't know. It, it's a very valuable gun, Crosby. But do you want to? You really want to this uh, this gun? By the way, I am not Italian. I just know a lot of things from overseas. Um. Ah, uh, you're a learned man, Gorman. Uh, uh, expected. You look the part. Polyglot. Yeah. Mm, a, uh, what did you call him? Don't listen to my friend over here. He doesn't know what he's saying. Um, yeah, sometimes I just like sometimes I just say words and hope they don't stick. Don't insult my friend like that, <laughs> Gourmand. Please excuse him. You're trying to enter a, a gun into my poker game? Are you serious? Yes. To show good faith, you know he's disarmed. All right, let oh, me put no, it into wager. perspective. Uh -huh. <laughs> let me put it into perspective for you, boys. I've got about 500 cash in on this game. Ooh. Ruby over here, Miss Applegate just put in upwards of 50 of her best diamonds. Then we've got Barclay over here who's got half of his gem mine up on the table. And then Seth hasn't even told us how much of his copper mines are in here. And you want to put a gun, albeit a legendary gun, but a, a mother gun in my high stakes poker game? Are you out of your good goddamn mind? Well, hmm. Crosby. Ooh. It's a really nice gun, though. <laughs> you hear that? <laughs> hmm? It is. Like, but really good. In addition to this gun, perhaps a second one? <laughs> Pull out my gun. <gasps> See? Oh, my goodness. Is that a mother of pearl gun? Oh, no, Ruby. I knew you were a tasteful woman the moment I laid eyes on you. Yes, in fact, it is. Oh, my. Crusted with pearls and, <laughs> and, and all jewels of all sorts of such as and oh. whatnot. Wow, you have a way with words, Mr. Mm. I'm sorry, what was your name again? Mm, Matthew. 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 Ferns. Ferns. Mr. Ferns. That's a that's a beautiful gun if I do say so myself. Oh, uh, Crosby is. doesn't look really impressed, but uh, he's, he says, "All right, look. It it seems that Ruby has taken a shine to your gun. Now she's a dear friend of mine. If she's fine with you entering this game with these guns, well, I'm fine with it too." Oh yes, I definitely have my eye on that gun. 
I'm gonna win that one. That's a pretty looking gun. Gucci Ooh. even. Well, that's good to hear. I it could be yours if you manage to beat me and my friend here. Oh, count but, me uh, in. Okay, uh, but it, you know it is a little hot in here. If I do have to say, do you, do you mind if we open the window? Oh, and let the dust come in. Uh, oh, oh, but it's so oh, it's so stuffy. So. Look at my boy. Look how he's sweating back there. He's just a kid. He's just a kid. We uh, just. Just the window on our side. Oh, enough of this. Barclay, open up the window. You got it. He opens up the window. Let's a little bit of air in. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Now, I think we can go ahead and get started. Uh, if, if I may, shuffle the cards as uh, a show of respect. Why would I allow you, stranger, to shuffle the cards? I don't oh, trust look. you. No, no, no. There's... Look at my hands. In my sleeves, nothing up these sleeves. Have the kids shuffle friendly. the cards. Okay, okay. I'll get up, walk over here. All right, boy. Take these cards and shuffle them. Right here. Why don't you? Why don't you show them your 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 little boy hands so they know you're not. <laughs> <laughs> what they, does that uh, even <laughs> mean? <laughs> 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 Jesus. You fucker. Show him throw the card out the window. Okay. He's he's oh he's coming. He's just he's a little clumsy. He's just a little clumsy. He's sick. He's sick. Yeah, look, he's sickly. He's sickly. sickly. Really wish I had that glass of milk. All right. Roll swindle, Chris. Roll swindle. Okay. Oh, this is funny. All right. Is your what is your swindle? Is it zero? <laughs> oh, actually, it's one. Okay, go ahead and roll one one d six. Uh, okay. Flash roll one d six. All right, you succeed. All right. <laughs> okay, you um right. you succeed in throwing out. You succeed in uh. Throwing out their pack of cards. Oh, you clumsy boy. I'm so sorry. This <laughs> He's been sickly since birth. Oh, my goodness. I'm so sorry about that. But I, it's a, what you, you, on you, you this fool. You back to the is corner this with you. Business. Oh, oh no. It's no. A, I'm, I'm so sorry about this boy. He's so sickly and just got fumbly hands. But I, I came prepared you never know i'm used to this this boy's always dropping my cards in the dirt and over uh, my silly and boy hands my uh, bad silly little boy hands but i have a deck right here check it <sighs> another deck of cards from some strangers that we don't trust give me that give me them cards okay you hand him the cards and he squints he squints real hard at the cards. <clears throat> I'm going to have him roll squint. <clears throat> All right. Let's go ahead and see. Oliver's got two. D6. Ooh. 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 He, he, squ it. he Ooh. squints real hard and says, this doesn't look right. There's something wrong with these cards here. Uh, I don't trust this. Uh, then don't use them. All right, guards, go go grab another deck of cards. Yeah. Fair. <laughs> you know, I don't know, just a deck of cards, but if you know to appease your conscience, you know, like if it makes you feel better, then you know that's that's okay. Sure. Oh, can I join the game? It looks really fun. Quiet, I've had enough of this. I'm real suspicious of you folks right now. Oh. I don't think I should be playing oh. my card game with you, as a matter of no, fact. I've had a bit of a no. change of change of heart here. I wanted to play a regular old no, game of cards no. with you, strangers. Well, you know, that's... Yeah, oh, you've that's really okay. fired them up. You're going to have to do a... One final swindle roll, and it's going to be a oh. risky action. All right, so I gentlemen. too will roll, or rather flip a coin. 
I think uh, this has just gotten way out of control here. Mm. Have we done anything to really cause such a ruckus? We're just a group of fellas looking to play some poker and... Roll Swindle. You succeeded. Am I right? And I'm flipping the coin. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> All right. Er <laughs> Everyone sits down and calms down. <sighs> One game. Right. One game. That's One right. game. One game. One game. One game, and then you get out of my car. Oh, Eladia, that sounds fair to me. Even the child. Sounds fair to me. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't do anything. Uh, by the way, for those asking how that worked, I I flipped a heads, which means I succeeded. Mm. And St. Clappington also succeeded in the swindle. So even though it was a risky action, everybody believes. <laughs> Never punished. Never punished. So everybody sits down. Play the damn game. We play with my cards, though. It's your table, your cards. It's your Understandable. table. Your train, your whatever. All right. Now, as you guys settle down to play cards and everyone's getting ready, somebody roll squint. I will roll squint. All Four right. and a five. All right. So that's you succeeded pretty good. Um, through that little window, the window that is behind Barclay, where uh -huh. nobody else can really see because everybody's kind of facing away from that window except for you guys. You spy something kind of odd. What? Uh -oh. You spy a movement. Movement as uh -huh. though somebody is climbing on the side of the train past the window. What? Mm. And then they disappear out of sight. If it's just me that noticed it, I don't think I would say anything, but I would take note. Yeah, I, take I would. Note. I would have my guard like way up, and uh, is there a way to tell? All right. I don't. I don't, I don't think I would risk telling, uh, Saint. But yeah. Right. Yeah. Are we playing cards or what? Oh, I'm. I'm. I'm ready to yes, play. Yes, ma'am. All right, everybody. What's your? You said you're wagering these two guns, yeah? And my two dollars. Yes. And your two dollars. Please tell my. me that's just a joke, right? What's better than two guns, Ruby, Madame? Two guns. That's and a $2. really good point. Mm -hmm. All righty, let's play. So now you guys are gonna play cards. Now here's the question: Do you swindle or do you play it straight? I'm gonna play it straight. I don't All right. Swindle. So there's no, there's no uh, sort of, how do I say? There's no sleight of hand. There's no you guys trying to do anything sneaky, right? No, no. We play it straight. You want to play it straight. Then I'm not going to have you roll swindle. Instead, instead, let's see. We are going to roll to play cards. It really is just kind of luck at that point. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to have you guys mm. each roll a 1d6. Mm. I'm feeling lucky. If I've wagered the gun, can I use its effect or no? It has to be like on my person. Nah, uh, well, you can use it. You still technically think, own the gun. Yeah, I think I'll use its effect then. Just All swindle. Right. All it's right. an auto success and then I have a, yes. I have a fate yeah, or something coming. A death yeah, that's like coming towards me, right? A gun yeah, duel that it. you must reckon with. Yeah. All right. Okay, so you automatically succeed, um, and the both of you actually end up with a really good hand. Yes. Now yes. I'm gonna roll. Mm. I'm gonna roll for the others specifically. Well, the rest of them—they're not very good. They don't have very good hands. But let me roll for Barclay really quick because mm -hmm. his roll is a little interesting. There's movement outside the window. So, it looks as though the winners of this game are you three. Oh, okay. You you kind of tie with them, actually. There's a bit of a tie here. A three-way tie, if you will. Hmm. Well, I'll be damned. I don't know how that happened. 
How are we going to solve this, gentlemen? Well, I think we do it the way our fathers did it, and our fathers' fathers did it. With a duel. <laughs> with a duel. Is that possible? Yeah, in this game of poker, it's possible. No, he's... He's making a joke. We only had one game, right? Yeah. Do we, do we have permission to... to do like a runoff between the three of us? See who oh, gets yeah. the pot? Oh, yeah. That sounds about yeah. right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. You can't this time normally I like tie this... in poker, but in this, yeah. in this poker game, you can. Yeah. JK. Yeah. So from here on out, the three of us are just going to have a little duel ourselves. The others yeah. are a little... They're angry. They just lost all their shit. Yeah. Um, not very happy about that. But, you know, Barclay isn't really one for splitting the pot, so... I'd like to squint at Barclay. Like All right. Do, this next. do a little squint. I'm suspicious. I'm suspicious. All right. Squint. About that. All right. You succeed. You Keeping know without a good goddamn doubt, this man is cheating at cards. Understood. <laughs> but I don't. You don't say anything? So I would, I would look at, I would look at Barclay. And just be like, I think it would be in everybody's interest to just split the pot. Yeah, but you see, uh, I'm not really that kind of guy. I'm not much of a pot splitting man. You feel do I, me? Do I know how he cheated? You don't know how. You just know that he did. Hmm. So you there's can't no tie way to prove at poker. It. <laughs> there's no way to prove it. There's I just no way know. to prove it. Can I reach my hand out like? my arms down by my side like on the chair and I like open my hand I just start to like pull my gun back to me <laughs> can I start my one minute uh, like as as, as 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 Caliban is having this back and forth Barkley I yeah sure make that face that Shrek makes in that meme picture and I kind of like I open my palm <laughs> and I'm starting to try to get my solid iron back to me yeah. Yeah, you can start okay. it up. All right. It's, uh, now. Hold on. How does the honorable reputation work? People just see you as an honorable person. So if it seems like you're cheating, it's less likely that they'll believe that you're a cheater. Uh huh. You seem honorable. That's all that it is. That's all that it is. Yeah. <sighs> they know him. They don't know me. That is true. He definitely cheated, but they're not going to. They're not. I have no proof. Okay. Yeah. I think we just honorable. have to play it. You could yeah. try and persuade them, but if you don't have good straight talk, might not be advised. I have okay straight talk, not great straight talk. Does, would honorable help that? Yeah. Or no? It I would? would say so. I'd say I'd probably give you a plus one because you're an honorable man. I think I, <laughs> I would risk it for the biscuit then. And All I right. would like, I would just say like, okay, if you don't want to split the pot, then I know you're cheating. And I would accuse <gasps> Barclay of cheating. All right, go ahead and roll. Straight talk. Yeah. So I have the I have the one the plus and then one. honorable. Yeah, plus one. All right. So that is a success. The others kind of gasp. <gasps> you are cheating, sir. You were going to cheat these fine people out of their money, and I am not for it. Oh. I knew it. I always yeah. knew that Barclay was cheating at cards. No one will believe me, though. I seem a lot less honorable than you, I guess. Is that true, Barclay? You've been cheating in my game. Barclay kind of tips down his hat. And then he kind of pulls it back up to eye you guys. And he says, you know what? Yeah, I was cheating at cards. Oh. But... <gasps> Listen, Barclay. hear me out, really, hear me out for just a moment, because I had to make sure that I won this game. I wasn't going to cheat any of you fine folks out of your money. I just wanted to get these yellow bellies out of the game, because I know who that man is! And he points to you, Cookie, before <laughs> slamming his peg leg onto the table. I Ooh. knew it! No. Oh, the plot twist. Wow. This varmint took my foot from me a couple years back. I was never in possession of your foot, good sir. It was just a simple mistake. Point being, he is no esteemed man. This 
This is an outlaw, and he owes me a foot. No. <laughs> they, there is a reason that they call him Barclay Footless Franz. It's because he has no foot. <laughs> Barclay Footless Franz. And at that point, the guards begin to close in on you guys. Wait, 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 wait. He still cheated. He cheated in the game that you played. And I'm looking at like the people that are like, well, like uh, Ruby and uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, and Crosby and, 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 and yeah. yeah, Gorman. Like he still cheated you guys. You can't pretend that yeah, that right. makes it OK. What he did is OK, because I got I had an accident. And uh, yeah, I will admit that I accidentally shot this man's foot off. But, but, but that's he not give, stealing. He said he gave the money back to us after because he exposed you for not being who you say you are. Then he should have done that before he cheated you out of your money. That don't make any lick of sense. He was trying to take your money. Oh, Barclay, I forgive you. This just feels a little awkward now, though, just because, well, you guys aren't actually very rich. So I think it's time we say goodbye. I think, guards, you guys should escort them uh, off the train. And by off the train, I mean throw them off the train. Sorry. Well... Can I shoot a warning shot? <laughs> oh, no. You want to shoot a war? <laughs> I mean, things are gonna head south, so we might just have to start blasting. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I, I mean, might this might as be well the end. Be a... This might be the end of two and a half hats. Hold on. Like... I I'd like to serve as a distraction so that the other two might take action. All right, you want to shoot your gun? <laughs> <laughs> uh, You're gonna need to roll precision to not shoot anything important that may hurt the train or other people. Okay. All right. Yes. Go ahead and roll precision. And I actually think you have you have a little extra something for precision, don't you? Let me see. I do. You do. You have a plus one prophetic. Precision is plus one. So go ahead and roll. Well, you have zero for precision. I'd say roll one dice. All right. Yeah, roll 1d6 and let's see what you get. Oh, that's a big, big old success right there. <laughs> Kid raises his sledgehammer to the sky and lets a shot rip. Pow! Right through the ceiling of the train. It doesn't hurt anyone and it doesn't stop the train, but good goddamn, it sure does make everyone look straight at this child who just shot a gun. I... Uh, Yo, what the heck? I look at... <laughs> It was an accident! <laughs> I, look, I look at Saint and it's just like, we might. <laughs> we might. All right. Everybody Surely, is distracted by this point, for this moment. I have the gun in my hand, right? Yes. Well, you could just. We're sitting at a poker table. We could just grab it off the table, right? All right. Well. You could grab it. I mean, it's your gun. Mm hmm. I, I misfired. Oh, sorry, everyone. This is my bad, my bad. And then I look at, I look at the two. Everyone is distracted for one turn. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Distracted for one turn. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hmm. It was a misinput. <laughs> How far away is Chris from me? Chris is standing in the corner of the of the cart, which is probably about a good four feet away from you. Okay. And where are the guards? The guards in the are corners. In the opposite corners, so yeah. about a good 20 feet away. Yeah. But they're getting closer, so more like 15. They've been closing in 15 feet away from you guys. All right, let's think about this, boys. Well, there's no time to think, right? Like, okay. It's like a moment. <laughs> they are distracted. Yeah, they're distracted. I'm pleading with my eyes at the two. <laughs> Chris, if we don't take down, we're to getting, to them guards, I, I really. starting to regret my I reach, actions. I reach forward and try to take Ruby as a hostage. No, Lord. <laughs> Come here, Ruby. Oh, no. Put me down, you heathen. I so, swear nobody better move. Cookie takes the gun and then he points it at the guards and he's like, do not move. I will shoot. <laughs> the, the guards Sorry, have Ruby. their hands on their guns, but they don't draw them. Yeah, yeah. Don't move. All right, All nobody's right. making a move, says Oliver, right. who is not here for this shit. 
I just wanted to play a game of poker. I didn't want it to turn out this way, but you, you varmint came in here and made a scene. Why can't you just leave quietly? Because you're going to throw us off the train, and I did win that, I did win that round, sir. That I couldn't have been a fair round. round. He was cheating. How do I know you weren't cheating? Well, that all don't matter now. Cheats. Yo, we're Chris, all a bunch of cheats. Chris, come over here, Chris. Wait, what should you say? <laughs> Come over here. Okay. A, put all the winnings in your big hat. Oh, Lord. Oh, stop uh, wiggling around, Ruby. I swear <laughs> I'll put a bullet in your brain. <laughs> no, please. Why would you do that to me? Please don't mess up my right. hair. I worked so hard on that today to look good for this poker game. Why are you doing that to little old me? All right. Oh, okay. You I got guess. the goods, Chris? Yeah, I, I collect everything, put them in my head. Use hustle. Yep, yep yeah, just hustle. Yeah. hustle. I need you okay. I need you to roll a hustle roll for me. Gotcha. Roll. What's your 1D6. hustle? One. All right, 1d6. Ah, uh, that's a failure, sadly. Uh, you start Darn. trying to put things into your hat, but you keep dropping shit all around the ground. The guards oh, are really Chris, looking for their moment to grab. Chris. Oh, my silly little boy hands! <laughs> <laughs> all right, to show them I mean business, I'm gonna shoot one of the guards. Oh, Jesus. All right, roll, um, you're gonna need to roll, you're gonna need to roll precision for this one to aim properly within this car. Roll precision. Ew. If he shoots, I'll probably also shoot. Oh god! Like if I hear that, if I hear that noise, it's just because like, I'm like looking at both of the guards. Right. right? Yeah. Uh oh. So I'll follow suit immediately after him. Okay. All right, that is a success. You shoot one of the guards dead. He drops to the ground. Ruby screams. The Barclay I'm also kind of yelps. I'm not messing around. I swear. <laughs> Oh Lord, just give him what he wants! <laughs> My I God, guess, I, I guess, can't believe I, this shit. I guess I shoot at the other guard. Oh, Jesus! Too. <laughs> the noise! The noise! The noise! The noise. So yes, what what do I roll to shoot? All right, you also will roll a precision roll. Precision? I have one. Yeah. I, have, I have one into precision. All right, one d six. You successfully shoot dead the other guard. There are no guards anymore. However, violence being a risky action. Wait, oh, I should have made. Mm -hmm. I should have had the, the coin flip. That's okay. They're dead. We'll do it for next time. However, what I will say is that now someone is going to try and shoot at you. Okay, understood. So, would you like to use grit to avoid this shot? Yes, I would. All right. In fact, I would. Is All it right. the bounty hunter? Yeah, he's going to shoot at you. Barclay is going to yeah. attempt to make a shot. Mm at you um at you cookie those guards are pretty weak but these guys not so much they have some strong grit Understood. as well they will be harder to take down so Understood. so he attempts to make a shot at you and just barely grazes your head however his shot is three grit so you got to mark Understood. three grit on your sheet yep three Marked three off. grit down yep well i mean i gotta return fire right if you wish now you may count? roll. Yeah. You, what is your roll for? Um, let's see. I'm gonna have you do precision again. What's your precision roll? Precision again. Yeah. One. Just the one. One. So Barclay expends one grit to avoid your precision ah, shot. Ah. Okay. Understood. Yeah. He narrowly rolls away and says, "If this is a firefight, it's a firefight you'll get." Pulls out his gun. You sure you want to keep doing this, boy? I'm real sturdy. I look over at at uh, Saint and Chris, and especially at Chris. <laughs> and then I look back at Barkley and say, like, I don't think you want to take this fight. Maybe you should just walk away and just call it even on the foot. Seth is under the table and Oliver is against the wall at this point. He's trying to get to the other cart. No, no, hey, no, no, no. Where no. are you going? I never wanted any of this. I just wanted to play a game of cards, an honorable game of cards, until you Don't varmint move. came in here. Please let me go. No, no, no. You stay where you are until we get what we want. Well, what do you want? What can I get for you? This isn't even all the treasure we have. We have more. 
We got more goodies, I promise. It's, 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 look, it's in the other, it's in the other cart. I was just All going right. to- Chris, go with this guy. Grab the rest of the treasure. Okay. You're gonna take this little boy and, and put all the treasure in his hat. All right. Come on. <laughs> I I bring my gun out and can I put the gun against his back? As right. as we go. You put the gun against his back. You begin to walk to the other cart and then you hear an explosion from in front oh of you. Oh God! What the hell is that? What is going on? An explosion coming from the next car that presumably held all the treasure. No. And That's you hear how we're a noise. Make our millions. Yeah! Hey, Ma, we did it! We got the treasure. What? It's the outhouse gang. They're <laughs> no. stealing our treasure. Uh... Yeah, we got the treasure, Ma. They worked as the perfect distraction, just like I knew they would. No. No. You hear it. Oh. You hear a big old, another big old explosion as you realize that the cart has now unhitched the one in front of you. Shit. No. And eventually, you realize that the rest of the train is speeding away forward with all of the jewels and the treasure and has left you and your crew and these fancy people behind in the dust. We've been hustled. We got hustled. Well, we can't let these guys live now. I know. <laughs> they all have to die. No, please. Please, I beg of you. I'll do anything. I'll do anything that you want. I... We should let Ruby live, but we should kill everybody else. Right? <laughs> Wait, why right. are we letting Ruby live? Here's what we'll do. We are not Just savages. I your nose. We are not savages, Caliban. We've been hustled, but it's not... Over. It's not right to just execute them like this. I'm I, sure look at, I, look at Barclay, I look at Barclay and he's like, we should execute at least one of them. No, no I will no, continue to, to fire fight with you if you <laughs> wish, sir. If that's a fight you want to have, that's a fight I'll give you. I'll give you guys a chance to run away. Out into the distance. Never look back at us. Never look for us again. Do you accept? Yes, I, I gladly, I gladly accept, says Ruby, as you guys realize that the the cart is slowing down, yeah. as uh, it's slowing to a halt. If please, I have a too much to live for. I have a many thing to do and place to go. Please, I run and never look back. I understand. It's a shame we've gotten ourselves into this situation, but these are the cards that have been dealt. But I'm not a savage. I'll let you run for it. Actually, before we let them go, can we uh, check out their belongings? <laughs> Uh, oh, like... Chris, you savage. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they have anything. You know, any any type of jewelry? All right, anything? empty your pockets. No, well, they had, they had like diamonds and rubies on the table, right? Like, yeah, so... $500? So, here's, so here's the thing. The amount that they bet was not all necessarily with them. Only a small <sighs> piece of it. Kind of like chips. Ah. So before you, you have about... Uh, two diamonds, ten dollars cash, uh, uh, two rubies and emerald, and one piece of copper. Are there yeah. clothes expensive? I mean, they look like uh, rich people clothes. Oh strip. my god! <laughs> I will not be stripped down, says Barclay as he holds a gun out at all of you and says, I will go down with my honor. Chris, it might be time for your golden arm. No, 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 no. I don't want my little boy to be traumatized here. <laughs> Barclay, then, then I perhaps... will duel you. I will duel you. Well, Step the two back, of us boys. will shoot at him, and if he's still standing no, after no. we're done gunning him I... down, then... I I am a, I'm a man of honor. Barclay, I'll give you a fair fight, as God intends. Oh, do you I accept see. my duel? So, you want to do a duel, do you now? Mm-hmm. All righty. Sounds fine to me. Step out of the cart. Alrighty. Now, in this duel, grit cannot be used. All this right. is a this is a man to man duel to the death. As God intended. Let's do As this. As God intended. Now, both of you step out of the cart and stand back to back, as is the normal procedure. And it looks as though it's about high noon, the perfect time for a duel. Mm. 
Now the two of you begin slowly to walk away from each other as per the usual duel. And as you turn around, I'm going to have both of you roll your speed, which is I'm rolling for Barclay and you roll for for Saint Saint Clapton. All right, I got one speed. No, I got Yeah, yeah, I got one speed. Roll that one speed. I'm not going to make this a risky action. You succeed. And he turns around. And fails. <gasps> Sir Clappington. <sighs> your shot whistles through the air. Hits him straight in the heart. He falls to the ground as his gun goes off just a bit too slow. Shooting into the sky. His bullet flies into the clouds as he falls to the ground. Amen. God rest his soul. As blood pools beneath him. Barclay has no other words left to say. Just, a, just some gurgling noises coming from his throat. As he says... Uh, Caliban, I'll see you in hell. And he passes away. I blow the smoke from my revolver and I go, <laughs> Amen, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Amen, motherfucker. Incredible. Oh, God, Caliban, what are you doing? <laughs> What's taking going on foot. here? Taking his foot. You're taking the what other foot? What are you doing, <laughs> Taking his other foot. What the hell? What are you going to do with that foot? Never you mind, Chris. We're not going to eat that, right? Ain't something for... Ain't, the, ain't, ain't proper for a child to think about. <laughs> what am going to do? <laughs> All right. Where, where are the other two? Where's Ruby and the other one? Um. So... You see that in the midst of all of this, you know, whilst the duel was happening, uh, Seth, the foreign one, he already took off running during the duel. Uh, Oliver, on the other hand, is... See him? Nah, he's a dot in the distance. Uh, Oliver, on the other hand, is standing on the tracks with his hands in his pockets, just shaking his head. Um, Ruby, on the other hand, is nowhere to be found. She's disappeared. Uh, you don't okay. know if she's run away or not. Well... Uh -oh. We got some diamonds. We got like 10 bucks. People are beginning to file off of the train, by the way. The rest of the train that was behind you guys, people are beginning to step off, wondering what the hell happened. Uh, we should probably boogie, gang. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. All right. You hear a Wait. gun cock. Wait. Not Wait. so fast. Huh? Hold on oh. a second. You turn around and see Ruby walks out from behind the cart, and she actually has her own gun, albeit she's holding it very shakily, pointing it at you guys. Ruby. Those Ruby, are my diamonds. By God, you killed Barclay! He's an old oaf, but you didn't have to kill him! What Ruby, the hell do you do think you're doing? Red, Ruby. I ought to shoot you all dead, and I'm an alright shot, so you better... Give me my diamonds back, and I'll leave you alone. We don't have to escalate this any further. What are the diamonds worth? Diamonds are pretty, pretty big deal, I would say. But mm. with just two diamonds, I'd equate that to about fifty cash for two. Fifty cash. Twenty-five yeah. per diamond. Twenty-five per diamond. And it's ten bucks on the table and some copper. Oh, there's also like a with? there's two rubies and an emerald, but those are also there's a much cheaper. Yeah. I would like to pull out my gun. <laughs> All right, you pull out your gun. Oh, a child is gonna try and fight me? Who gave you that gun, little boy? Your papa? Now put that thing away. It's not a toy. Ma'am, look at my arm. <laughs> <laughs> Look at my arm. You think you think a normal kid would have this kind of arm? Uh, no. You wanna try me? You wanna try me? Don't ask Better. me to do a duel with a kid. Come on now. Doesn't have to be a duel. I will take that duel. <laughs> Everyone wants no, to no, duel. No, 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 no duels are gonna happen here, Ruby. Listen, there's three of us and only one of you. I'm offering you 
the chance to step away with your life. <laughs> she chuckles. Are you so sure about that? As people begin to crowd around you guys, all mm. kinds of different folk. The cowboys you saw from before also have their own revolvers that their hands are now yeah. on. She says, yeah. you think those gentlemen over there are going to take so kindly to you shooting an innocent woman? Gentlemen. <laughs> you all seem <laughs> like proper cowboys of the West. Downtrodden. Struggling to make ends meet. Might I offer you... you just a few bucks to shoot this woman <laughs> and leave us alone. Mm -hmm. And reach into Chris's hat, pull out a couple of bucks, wave it around. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what as say you, you? As you say this, as you wave around those bucks, some of the cowboys kind of approach you as you wave the dollars around. Ruby gets a little nervous. She says, a gentleman, <laughs> come on, gentlemen. Are you serious? What on God's green earth do you think you're doing approaching that absolute fiend? You're going to take money to kill me? Look at the no, way. No, 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 no. We're not asking any of these gentlemen to kill you. We're going to kill you. Don't worry about it. <laughs> All they have to, to do is just do chain. nothing. <laughs> We're just asking them to do nothing, and they take free money. Gentlemen. Free money to do nothing. Think of all the time happened. you spent in the back carts, hot, crowded. Haven't you spent your whole life in the back carts now that you think about it? Look at this woman. Look at her dress and her jewelry, the way she talks. These are the people that keep you in the back carts, gentlemen. <laughs> all I'm asking is for you to turn the other cheek. Roll straight talk. Dollars. Roll straight talk. I could help. I, I, I... All right, you add a dice to his pool. Your, your straight well, talk is zero, isn't it? My straight talk is one, and I think I I had the better argument. <laughs> because that is true. Clappington's argument was just like, <laughs> what? <laughs> Mine was just like, we're not asking you to shoot her. We're asking you to do nothing, and you get money to do nothing. Nothing. <laughs> All, right. All right. Well, if you want to kind of help each other a little bit, Clappington, your straight talk is zero, ain't it? Yeah. All right. So, <laughs> <laughs> so Clappington, roll 1d10. And the success, the higher one will win. Of course, obviously. Oh, obviously. Okay. Yep, success. So you successfully persuade the cow. Was they're a little, they're a little confused. They're like, okay, do we shoot her? Do we not shoot? Do we take the two dollars? No, do we no, do no, nothing? No, no. Like, they're, they're the kind of like shrugging, looking at each other. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Give them each a dollar. Wait, did you roll a d10? Yeah. You told them to, right? Fuck! Damn it! I'm sorry. One d6. Shit! Uh, so we don't use D10s in this game. That's uh, all right. You know what? Uh, no, actually, no, 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 no. I'm gonna let that ride because that was that was Maury's bad. However, <laughs> however, this is how it plays out. It is not an exact success. Everybody shrugs and looks at each other like, what the hell are we supposed to do? And then suddenly a shot rings out all the way from the west. And you oh. realize there's a silhouette off in the distance. Now, do no. you want to allow this shot oh. to possibly hit you, Clappington, or do you want to expend four grit? Four grit? It's we better four grit. We, we better run. I'll Let's expend run. my four grit. All right. You mark off four grit on your sheet. A voice rings out, not on my watch, varmint. You realize no. the sheriff has arrived. What's no. Wrong? Oh no. The hero of the West is here to stop you. Old oh, Pink. Old Pink, that's Old pink. right. You do well to remember that name. She says as she strolls up to Clappington, cocks her gun, and says, Next time I won't miss. Oh, the kid. boys. The kid. Uh, I. I. Chris. <laughs> The kid. We have plenty of funds for therapy now. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to do the one thing that that golden arm can do for you. The kid gets both the diamonds and we get out of here and I'll kill the old lady because she... <laughs> the old she's... lady. Yeah. Take the shot, Chris. 
Dus... In the name of God. This <laughs> <laughs> better be worth it. Okay. Take the shot. Okay, I. I'm going to shoot. I don't need to roll anything. Huh? No, you don't. <laughs> Who are you shooting? <laughs> <laughs> Who are you shooting? You gonna shoot the sheriff? I'm shooting the sheriff. <laughs> It's you okay, shoot. Chris. You did not kill the deputy. You did <laughs> kill the sheriff. All right. I'm sorry, miss. So, I'm sorry. Chris, you shoot the sheriff right through the heart. <sighs> the sheriff looks back at you with a look of... Well, you can't quite put your finger on it. It's it's a strange look. It's, it's the look of somebody who you know will never truly die, though they may die in this universe. They may die in this world. <gasps> what? The sheriff never she's, truly dies. She's everything, everywhere at once and yet. She, <laughs> she Wait, falls that mean no to the trauma? ground. No, 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 she's dead. Don't get me wrong. Ah, she falls to her knees. Uh, Chris and uh, falls guys, to the ground. Oh. And my, gives a my thumbs My hands up. are shaking. You hurt her real bad. It's hard to tell from this distance, Chris. I... <laughs> I, I think she's dead. No, oh, God. It's hard to tell from well, this what distance. have I done? You Come are on. traumatized. Let's book it. But even worse I'll... than that, as you realize, you turn around and you just realize that about a hundred people watched you murder the sheriff in cold blood. I I curl up into a fetal position. Oh, All right. Chris. Let's get, let's get, let's I'm get Chris. Let's you get up. out of here. Yeah, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. <laughs> let's get daddle. And we're gonna make a break for it. It's gonna be okay, Chris. I pulled a Clappington. I can't believe it. No, no, you no. You realize I, that so, as you run and make a break for it, the crowd begins to follow you. No, In no, fact, no, no. They begin I'm gonna to run after you. No, the cowboys no, no, draw no, their no, guns. No, 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 no. That no, kid no. shot the sheriff. No, no, no. I can't no, believe no. that oh, kid God, shot the sheriff. I, listen to them, Chris. I did. Dorime, I absolve you. I absolve you of your sins. You have been absolved, my friend. Ruby You're is also good. running after you guys, saying, Where are my diamonds? I can't believe you killed the sheriff. I'm going to tell everyone that you killed the sheriff unless you give me at least one of my diamonds back. All right, we'll slow down. All right. Gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> in this hat I have some diamonds that I'm willing to offer you you look like you're in need of some work am I, is that right or am I am I right boys right uh, at this how point the like, cowboys aren't going to listen to you because you just killed you the like fucking to, sheriff <laughs> so. how would you like to join a prospective entrepreneur <laughs> mm. <laughs> They draw their okay. guns. Uh, How many cowboys are there? I guess we just gonna have to fight. Ten of them. Ten cowboys. Oh. Y'all really shouldn't have shot the sheriff. Right. How are you getting out of this one? All right, I'm Caliban. You trust me? I do trust you. All right, I'm gonna grab the hat full of all the stuff. I'm just gonna toss it as hard as I can up. Just toss it. Diamonds for all! I'm just gonna toss it up and try and I scream, run! <laughs> ah, we're sprinting for it. All right, you toss the hat into the air and diamonds, the two diamonds, they fly into the air as well as all of the other things that you had put into the hat. They fly around the desert and the cowboys and random folk also scatter about trying to get their hands on it. And Ruby kind of says, wait a minute, those are my diamonds! And she joins in the pile as they all scramble for the diamonds scattered around the sheriff's dead body, and you guys have one full turn to escape. <laughs> run, get a bit, run! I'm hustling! <laughs> I'm hustling the best I can! Oh, <laughs> I, I can killed hustle. someone! Oh, <laughs> Chris I'll crying all the way. I'll never the same person! <laughs> it's gonna be okay! I absolve you, murder. Chris! Come on, <laughs> 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 you guys run, run, run as fast as you can into the desert. You don't stop. You continue running. 
There's nothing for miles and miles, but you keep running until you can't see anyone. Not even anybody uh -huh. has a dot in the distance, and you are all alone in the desert. You see that there is a small town far away. However, it's nighttime now. We need to skedaddle out of this territory. Tell you what. Mmm. Well. Chris is in no shape to to do banditry. We gotta we gotta get out of here. Why escape? Just embrace the sweet sweet death. Sweet embrace of death. What Just do we like have? I did with that person. Chris. You don't know what happened. I'm just saying. There was a lot of people there. Maybe there's a doctor <laughs> among the passengers of the train. And you're, they were so far away, we don't know. <laughs> know what I mean? I, you think so? Oh. God sees all. So, look at your gun. Derringer? Oh, yeah, look. Tiny. At that range? At that range? I don't know if you can fatally shoot someone at that range. I know. So you still got a little bit of sand in your eye from earlier. No. Maybe. maybe. Could have survived. Could have survived. But for now, we just got to get the hell, get the Sam Hill away from here. I do agree. Yeah, we should get, right. we should get some horses and get out of here. Mm -hmm. Make for make for a new territory. We should also at some point come back and settle up with Louis Devlin. As some of a gun hired <laughs> those bandits oh, to right. dig us in the sand. We gotta get some revenge on that. Mm. Mm -mm, I ain't letting that slide. Well, interestingly enough, you guys do realize that the town off in the distance, though it is dark, it is getting darker. And you can tell that this, this actually is your town. Ah, oh, shit. You've arrived right back home. <laughs> the town run by the sheriff you just killed. Now, thankfully, it doesn't seem that anyone's gotten back in time to spread the rumor or let the news be known, as all of you now have the reputation of sheriff killer. And Chris, mm. in particular, has most wanted man in the West <laughs> on his head. <laughs> Holy shit! We leave no man behind, but let's let's go in there. Let's do a little bit of a let's do a little bit of persuading to Devlin and just get out of here. We got two horses. We can go back and get and just like leave. <laughs> Shit. Okay. We have a we have a window, right? Well, the I horses don't feel are at, the horses are tied up at the station that's a ways away from here. Ah. Uh... When those bandits took you out far, they took you far, far away. Damn it. To bury you in the sand. How do we get them horses? You have no horses. Yeah. How They're do we get gone. Out of here? Well, the town is coming up, but you're going to have to enter it if you want to try and find a way to actually leave. You could keep walking in the desert, but you'll have to roll survival. Mmm. Word hasn't spread yet, though, right? Not yet. You guys have been running toward the town. Nobody from the train has made it to the town yet. But once it's the they middle do... Of the... Yeah, it's the middle of the night, right? Yes. Fellers, I think we just gotta steal three horses and get get the hell out of here. Okay, let's do yeah. it. Yeah, we, uh, we have to plan. sprint into the town quietly, and then we have to sprint into the town to try to find horses to steal. Alright. Find some horses. You guys roll into town at the dead of night. It is completely silent. And you realize everybody has gone to bed at this point. It's gotta be about 2 a.m. or so. Right. So, you look around the town. There are some stables with horses, but they're right chained up. And if you chained aren't sneaky, up. you won't be... Well, tied up is a better word. Um, mm. however, if you aren't sneaky, you might wake up whoever's in the house. Mm. We should get the... How sneaky are you, Saint Clappington? I ain't sneaking at all. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna have to use your guile. 
Well, I think, uh, Chris, how you doing? <laughs> Chris, how you Chris will take um... a minus one to everything. <laughs> Oh my god. All right, I'll you stay here with uh with Caliban. I'll sneak around. See if I can't untie these horses. But you want to roll your guile for me? Yes, I do. I have one guile. All right, that's a 1d6. Please, 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 please. Oh! Damn. You manage to untie the horses and do not even make so much as a peep. Silent. That's right. Now do it two more times. <laughs> I am the knight. Oh. As you're untying the second horse, a light goes on in the house. Hello? Someone out there? <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't sound like a horse. That sounds like a human. Is that is that a human out there trying to be a horse? The door opens. Roll guile again. The owner steps out, looks around. Huh. Must have just been my imagination. Hey there, Winnie. Kind of strokes the nose of the horse. Be a good girl. Go to bed. He turns around. Heads back into the house. You have two horses. However, the lights in the church flick on. Somebody heard those loud horses. No. Revenge. <laughs> Caliban. You want to try and get the we, third horse? We have traveled on two horses before. I would rather have two horses in revenge versus three horses and no revenge. <laughs> All right. We're going to put Chris on one horse. And a mosey silly, on over. It's Silly 2 and Billy 2, right? <laughs> yeah, Silly and Billy. Yeah, silly silly, silly two, 2 and Billy 2. Too Silly Billy. All right, let's let's go over to this church. All right. You head let's on over to the old faithful you stay, chapel. You stay here, Chris. We got business to settle. Okay. Good luck. You head on over to the old faithful chapel. Now I know that my my face isn't moving right now. Um, <laughs> just don't worry about it. Um, you head on over to old faithful chapel, and uh, the door it's right in front of you. What do you do? Sneak up and try to bushwhack that son of a gun. <laughs> How do you suppose you're going to do that? Hmm. The light to the church is open? Uh, is on? Now the lights are all on. Hmm. Dad. Dad, are you there? <laughs> <laughs> it's Ned. It's Ned. <laughs> Where do you whisper oh, yeah. that? Through the door. Crack. All right, you whisper you whisper for for Ted, Ned, and whatever. As soon as you do, the door swings open and the reverend stands there pointing a gun in your face. <gasps> hey. Good evening, motherfuckers. <laughs> Louis. Didn't think I'd see you back here. Oh, I came, you know, think about it. Why would I come back here? I wanted to just apologize. I ought no. to kill every last one of those no, bandits. No, no, no. I knew no, they I... were no good. They were, they, were, you know, it's just, I've, I've come to, you know, make amends. We're Any last God words? Theory. Oh, uh, my last words, yes. Hopefully they're oh. holy ones to God. I want to quick draw this dude. My last words are, shoot him now, Caliban! Yeah, shoot him now! We will shoot him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he's gonna use some grit to dodge. What's your power? Mm. Power shooting, shooting power qualities. I have one power, and my gun deal is power plus one. All right, so two. How about you, Calban? I have zero. I have zero. Two speed, one precision. Gotcha. All right, 
So he's gonna go ahead and expend some grit to avoid your shots. He no. aims his gun and fires at you, Clappington. Do you wish to allow him to hit you or will you expend three grit? Do I have three grit? I don't think I you do, bro. I don't have yeah. three grit. I only have two. Damn, this creature got hands. Uh, I clench my teeth and I go, come on! <laughs> All right, I'm gonna, here. I want you to do it! <laughs> Let me make the shot. Let me make the shot. This is such calming music, all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, he successfully puts a bullet in you, except. <laughs> Except, he doesn't. Ugh. The bullet is stopped dead in its tracks by a certain cigarette case. Let's go. You have been holding on to. Hey. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Holy <laughs> smokes. Bam, and I fire back. Oh! Go ahead and roll. He's not going to expend any grit against this. He used it all originally. So go ahead and roll power. Do I get to shoot as well? Yeah, sure. Both of you can. So because I have no power, I roll twice and I take the lower one? Yes. Okay. Damn, powers are good then. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Three. You're firing yes. up close. All right. So those are successful shots. Um, It looks like... So first of all, Cookie, you barely graze him in the ear. You uh. basically shoot off his ear. He says, oh, Lord, have mercy. Wait, let me, let me live. I want to live. And as soon as he <laughs> says that, as soon as he says that, Clappington fires a shot straight to the head. Bang. Down he goes. The Reverend, the good Reverend Devlin is dead. Let's get the fuck out of here. Come on, let's go. I spit on the Reverend and then I drop the severed foot <laughs> on his chest. <laughs> I dropped the severed foot of, of Clayton. No, not Clayton. What was his name? A uh, Barclay. <laughs> Barclay. I dropped the severed foot of Barclay on his chest. And then we leave. Let's skedaddle. Sprint back to the horses. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we sprint back to the horses and we make our escape. Make a mad dash. Back to the horses. You guys get on those horses as all the lights in the town begin to turn on after a shot yeah. has been fired. Yeah, yeah. Lots of shots. Lots of shots fired. You manage just barely to get on your horses and head on out, and with no sheriff here to protect the town, well, there's nothing the townsfolk can really do to stop you. You guys make Next. your way out of town. You guys ride towards the moonlight. With very little on your person, no cigarette case, the deck of cards has been lost. Only a knife and maybe two dollars. Now you lost the two dollars too. You lost everything. <laughs> <laughs> you have nothing. Good goddamn. We have our hats and our guns, and that's enough. You have your hats, God, your guns, God, it. and and you also have plenty of pumpkin stew. Ah. And your horse. Traumatized kid in need of therapy. Yeah. As you head <laughs> Trauma. off. Trauma. We'll get through this together. You guys head off into the distance, and the sun eventually begins to rise. The sun begins to rise on the horizon as you guys head off towards, well, where could it be? You have some awful reputations that'll follow you forever. After all, you three are the most wanted gang in the West now. The ones only known as Two and a Half Hats. Where will you go next? Who could say? Do you have any plans, even? I want, I want to get revenge on the outhouse gang. Oh. I want enough money for therapy. <laughs> Don't worry, Chris. We'll get you some. We'll get yeah. you some money. Yeah, 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 yeah. You did us a solid, Chris. We will stand by you. I think we'll money get... will help with my trauma a lot. I think it's gonna help. Okay. Ninety okay. percent. <laughs> Ninety percent of all loot. <laughs> <laughs> The gang, the posse, rides off into the sunrise, almost as though a new beginning could be on the horizon for these three. 
Who knows what may happen in the future to this posse. Anything could happen. It's the world of gun. The West is dying anyway, ain't it? The West is dying. Oh. The end. That was so good. Oh my god. <laughs> the end. Amen. Oh, we lost Amen, all our buddies. Amen. <laughs> they lost everything. Amen, brother. Oh, but ain't that... Ain't that just how a story goes? Ain't them just the breaks? Mm-hmm. Well, at least you guys killed the Reverend. There was way more death in this game than I thought there would be. <laughs> Billy? Oh, yeah, the Billy. only regret I have is I feel like I probably should have made some of the shootouts more risky actions, but but that's okay. Once I kind of, like, yeah. I feel like this bounced out by how like absolutely difficult like the talking encounters. That is are. true. The talking encounters are pretty hard. <laughs> people in the we're West are hard to persuade. Yeah, we ain't good at talking to people. But we're good at shooting. We sure are. Uh, one thing yeah. that I wanted to also mention is I thought it was really funny that you guys killed Billy because I was totally thinking what you could have done is offered up Dez's gun and then rode away with the horses and then it would just come back to him. <laughs> it would come back to him. <laughs> but, but you killed him, so. Yeah. It would get to me at the end of... It just would, a minute. I, how fast does it... No matter the distance... No matter the distance, it'll come back to you. Oh. That's how gun works. That's how your guns work. Oh, well, better outcome, says chat. I don't know, they seem to... with his wife now. <laughs> He's at rest. Yeah. So that was gun. What is everybody's impression here? How did you... How did how did you feel about your first time playing gun? I love the game. It's that good. was fun. Yeah, it was cool. Yeah. I like how simple yeah. the dice system is. Yeah. You're not really keeping track of anything but a D6. And then and then um the D one hundreds to roll. And then we didn't use there's like you said there's like a luck card, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you feel really we didn't unlucky. Use that at all. No, we did not. It's just there maybe if you want to play cards instead. Yeah, maybe we should have done that. I feel like And then it wasn't until the very end we started understanding grit, right? Like exactly. the concept of it. And yeah. I think grit is HP. I didn't know that. Kind of. Uh, if yeah, you run out, it's not necessarily the end, right. but yeah. it's like the, you but can't avoid like a H bullet. In dying, you're in like yeah. dying. Yeah. Yeah. You will die if someone succeeds at shooting you. So, for example, yeah. Clappington's cigarette case really did save his ass there. He would have been done for. <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah, the what cigarette was case. Chris's knife. Stab and rattlesnakes. Uh, only rattlesnakes. rattlesnakes. <laughs> yeah. Hidden rattlesnakes. Oh, that, that was fun. Yeah. Oh my god, that was fun. Good times. Good times with the whole crew. Who knows? Maybe we'll see him again in the future. These crazy three. Yeah. We gotta but, we gotta find the outhouse gang and kill them, but you kill know, them. Get them. <laughs> get the outhouse gang. Those guys stink. Literally. They, they smell profit. real bad. Yeah. They have yeah. a ridiculous amount of money. We like they have a crazy lost amount. It all. They're pretty lost rich. It all. You guys lost Monster. your two bucks. Really, what a shame. <laughs> Poor Ned is going to come out and be like, oh my god. <laughs> the foot is a nice touch, right? Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> Absolutely psychotic. Maybe you guys left me the reverend. <coughs> Maybe he could, he could take the place. He has to. I mean, you guys left the town with no sheriff and no reverend. Ooh. So y'all are effectively mm. the most wanted in the West. Hmm. I was really trying to kill someone, but the damn, <laughs> <laughs> the damn cigarette case stopped me. <laughs> damn it! Holy smokes! Holy smokes! What a what a cast of characters! Right? Some real cold-blooded motherfuckers. I really wanted Cookie <laughs> to do some cooking. I mean, he did some cooking in the beginning, but you know, there was really time to rest. It's definitely like not like one shot. A character. one shot de deal, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the yeah. thing is, like, being able to. Recover two grit per like what is it called resting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A breather. Yeah, a breather. Two, two grit per breather is like really yeah. good. But for yeah. example, if you guys ever did bring these characters back to play another session, then of course you'd get like two, two grit back. Yeah. But yeah. who knows? Maybe you'd want to roll different characters. Chris kind of stands out a lot with it, like with, like with his like golden arm, and then <laughs> like even even if he's like good with card games, like can't even participate because. A no cheat. <laughs> no cheat. What a shame. Cheating to call. Chris shot the cart. Yeah. Ah, that yeah, was cool. Yeah. Sledgehammer was so useful. 
Oh, this goes cool. like a Tortuga for like outlaws. You know what I'm talking about? Like for pirates, there's like the pirate city, right? Yeah. If there's oh. like an out, I wonder if there's like an outlaw city, and now Chris is like the legend, like the like king. A god. Yeah, the, Ooh, the yeah. god of the outlaws. You're the legendary Chris. Oh, yeah, it's like whoa. And Chris You're is like, Chris. no, I killed someone. You shot old Pink. Nobody, none of like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's so funny. Yeah, Chris is the goat. That was pretty you cool. Stand that was a traumatized oh king. my gosh. <laughs> Clappington, Clappington though was like just, just, <laughs> was just talking, using man. everyone and killing everyone. <laughs> so just the evil. worst, slimy, most evil dude. I'm a, it's my character. Yeah. I'm a psychopath. But I don't have feelings. And like he always starts his like bargain off with gentlemen. <laughs> Jeez, pious by the way, real pious guy. Everything's in the we, name of the Lord. We have to like change. Like if we ever do more than a one shot, we have to change up our like approach because we should get a straight talker to open. Yeah. And it should not be Clappington. <laughs> and Clappington is our swindler. Right? Yeah, he's just really good at lying. He can't be truthful <laughs> yeah. to save his life. We have to like we have to like approach every encounter, like not not fighting encounter, be like, are, are we are we straight talking or are we swindling? And if we're straight talking, we don't go with Clappington. <laughs> yeah. we don't fight, we go with exactly. I don't know how such a big scam artist is a pious man. <laughs> yeah. It's a big mystery. No one really knows. That it's my reputation. Gentlemen. It's just the rep he's got. Gentlemen, please. Invest thy uh, sins later because the West is dying. It's too good. Yeah. It's pretty good. I don't know. Uh, I feel like I feel like any of y'all that like GMing stuff, you could probably run this pretty well. I am so interested in it. Yeah. I'm, well, I didn't know until like after, but I think the developer of this also developed Lancer, right? Yeah, Which yeah, yeah. Like, a really good like mecha ttrpg which is yeah like, yeah but like i love westerns so like i'm like gonna look at just like a lot more closer i'm gonna i'm gonna, I'm gonna look into it. it i'm gonna pay for, yeah i'm gonna pay for it you, you should, should do it yeah 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 yeah. you should do there's it i want to see more yeah. as a player yeah, oh, cool. yeah i'd love the to robot, play in the game there's like a crazy amount of robots maybe i could like i could i could because I haven't read the whole thing, but I could take a look at it and then I could try to I could try to GM and then yeah, kind of I could be a player, right? That would be awesome. I don't yeah, really yeah, play yeah, in yeah. these lately, Hell so yeah. yeah, let's go. Oh man, thank you for inviting us. Cause Hell I never yeah, get to be a player. yeah, thank you. I know, yeah. so good. Happy to run all of y'all. That was a good time. I oh, love doing yeah. one shots. Cause there's yeah, no obligation to continue. GM. Thanks, yeah. I did my best. Yeah, yeah, Trying yeah. all my different accents. Awesome. <laughs> it got a little hard to keep up with sometimes, but I gave it my oh. all. Oh, this one. Yeah. All oh, right. Man. Well, thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in and uh, hanging yeah, out with you. all of us here in the West. This is the West. Cowboy hustling. Sheriff's the best. Also, the sheriff is dead, so there, there's that. <laughs> um, the sheriff is super dead. But anyway, I guess we'll catch you guys upon the flip side. Thanks for yeah. hanging out with everyone, and uh, thank you to you guys for joining me as my players as well. Fantastic. Oh, no problem. Fun. Yeah, anytime. Everybody you. did very well. So, good job, guys. We'll catch you guys later. Yep. Bye, good night. everyone. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Can I get an amen? Amen. 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 Bye. Amen. Goodbye. Peace. Y'all come back now here.